2022 was a weird year. Every year is a weird year. We've been saying that basically every year for the last decade. Whew, that was a weird year. But I think 2022 might have brought us some of the most jarring tonal whiplash of recent memory with the optimistic scientific wonder of the James Webb Space Telescope and the grim realities of the invasion of Ukraine. You can be scrolling through social media and experience in a clarity never before achieved, the humbling scale of endless galaxies, and then moments later, a DJI camera drone dropping a grenade into a foxhole. It was a weird year. The Queen died, the UK shut down for 10 days, and then their Prime Minister couldn't outlast a head of lettuce. Their new Prime Minister has twice as much money as the King, but hey, Benefer got back together. It was a weird year especially for me. I thought it was kind of neat, you know, sort of like a cool trick that my back hurt. I kept coughing and I was itchy all over for no reason. But then a doctor told me it's actually not cute and bodies only do that when they're stressed out. And then he put a tube down my throat and filled me with poison. So I spent most of the year in a brain fog and I thought that was from the chemotherapy. But from talking to other people, that might have just been what 2022 was. A giant brain fog. Bob Saget and Coolio died. Scientists discovered the building blocks for DNA might have come from space. The pandemic isn't over. Elon Musk was forced to buy Twitter, but still couldn't afford a sense of humor. There are 40% more tigers in the wild than there were last time they counted. And the American Dialect Society determined the word of the year was ussy. So really, what more can I say except we're live and something's going to happen. From near and far, young and old, people of every shape, ability, and gender, welcome to Loading Ready Live. Tonight on the show, it's Loading Ready Runs. Great mid, big, mid quiz of 2022. <laughs> it's like UK Channel 4's big fat quiz, but this one is profoundly online, and there's far less Jimmy Carr. A change for which your mileage may vary, depending on if you are or are not Jimmy Carr. My name, conversely, is Graham, and our teams tonight are our resident cinnamon roll and the man who patiently explains things to him, it's Serge and Ben! <laughs> Who's who? <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> one is a beautiful human being I'm honored to have in my life, and the other one lives with me, it's Cameron and Kathleen! <laughs> And finally, they always seem to know what the other is thinking, even when literally nobody else does. It's Ian and Bead. <laughs> Go hi, fat choy, Graham. <laughs> and also with you. Let's play the big mid quiz. <laughs> For those unfamiliar with how this specific pub quiz style trivia contest works, I'm going to be asking questions in a variety of categories. Our team will write, teams will write down their answers in secret, and at the end of each category, we'll see how they did and award points accordingly. You probably could have guessed that was how the process works without my explanation, but it's more fun if we're definitely all on the same page. Before we begin, let's get some team names. Ben and Serge, how's it going? Good. Good. I'm really excited. This is going to be a fun time. Yeah. Yeah. I think... <sighs> What if we what if we said we were team goths? What do you guys do? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. We're gonna be Ben Ben and the Penguin. Yeah, we can Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. What if okay, so if we do improv things, we have these cards. Okay. Um if we you take one and I'll take one. Alright. Okay, and I'm gonna put an adjective and I want you to put a noun. Can you double so it down I'm, a bit? All right, first word, second word? <laughs> Sure. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Man, that name. You, you, want to you know, maybe we, maybe we should use what Graham put down for us. Oh, it's okay. Nouns are second words in the sentence. That's Thank it. you. Yeah. All, All right. right. All right. All right. Don't no peaky. Okay. They're both gonna be all adjectives. <laughs> <laughs> mine is an adjective. All right. Okay. Ready? So yeah. I guess I'll review mine first. Okay. Oh, okay. No. Uh, so we are thick. Funnel. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> what are we, is it better if we're no, funnel thick? That's not better. <laughs> no. Okay, right. we're team thick, thick funnel. Thick, thick funnel, funnel, Graham. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Looking yeah. forward to it. Kathleen and Cameron, how are you doing this evening? Well, well we're very drift compatible. It I seems. I think so. Yeah. 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 We're both dressed. Um, we, I was like, Cameron, should we dress up for this? And then we were both thinking it, but didn't want to say it. Let's just go very goth. So I wear, an, I'm wearing a necklace tonight. Yeah, I decided to get out these black glasses, which I haven't worn in a long time. This is as goth as you could bring yourself to be. 
Yeah. This yeah, is, this is kind of just, you know, it was in the closet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is as much goth effort as we're willing to put into it, which I feel actually makes us transcendently goth. Oh, yeah. right, there yeah, you yeah, go. Like okay. putting, putting effort in is not very goth, it seems to me. No. That seems to be caring about things. Yeah. So are we visibly goth or visigoth? <laughs> yes. If you will. We're visigoths. Excellent. All right, team visigoth. Right at the end of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. All right, and then our third team uh, this evening, uh, Beej and Ian, how are you two doing? I was told to dress up. Yeah, happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't figure out if you meant dress fancy or fancy dress. It was this or a tuxedo. I mean, I, there, I only have so much ceiling to work with here. What color is your tuxedo? It's the I, tuxedo I a, color. I wear a black tuxedo, yes. a black tuxedo, a black, black, bl black tuxedo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what's your team name then? Uh, you were saying something about joining the EU earlier, right? Yeah, but then I was like, uh, what if we were just like um, team adult beef swelling? Ooh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, adult is definitely correct. Adolescent beef swelling is just not, no, not the right one. No, no. Um, beef Swellington. <laughs> Done. Great. Even, even more approachable. Swellington. Fetch me another Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> Would have liked to have seen Idaho. All right. Well, then let's begin with our first round this evening. We're going to begin with yes, miscellany. Some quizzes save the potpourri round for the end, but the hell with that. I'm getting my uncategorized uncare stuff out of the way early. I was going to open with a question about Tifa getting piped down on the Italian Senate's live stream, but apparently that was such a momentous event. People are celebrating it with a one-year anniversary. <laughs> So enjoy these questions instead. Elton John held the last performance of his farewell concert tour in Dodger Stadium, streamed live on Disney+. Plus. But what behind-the-scenes drama briefly overshadowed the lead-up to the event, at least for people like us who spend too much time on the internet? Hmm. So he, did, he did a collaboration with... Team uh, Beef, Team Beef Swellington. Yes. Did you even know that Elton John was on his farewell tour? To I, be honest, well, go ahead. I didn't even know there was a Dodger Stadium. I, I <laughs> really, I, I, I'm just glad to know that Elton John is still with us, despite the fact that he apparently is planning his departure. I this see. Is a funeral tour. I see. <laughs> well, for his career, at least, apparently. <laughs> All right. Right, nice and big. Mm. I should mention, for the benefit of those uh, watching at home, that uh, our contestants cannot see chat this evening. So feel free, chat. This is this can also be trivia for you. Play along. Why not? Uh, I think we're ready to move on to our next question. Oh yeah, use a different card for each for ah, each okay. uh, for each question. I should have I should have yeah. specified that. All right. Everyone seems happy with their with their answers one way or another. Our next question. Yes, sure. One, 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 oh, more word. one more word? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, sure. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. In science news, which does not get its own category because quantum entanglement is diff difficult to work into a light entertainment quiz question, NASA and the ESA were successful in altering the trajectory of a small asteroid by crashing a spacecraft into it. They called this the DART mission. What does that stand for? I figured that asking the name of the asteroids they hit, well, the asteroid they hit and the larger asteroid that it was orbiting would be too difficult, but feel free to show off if you know. Did they seriously hit an asteroid that was orbiting around another asteroid? Yes. Yeah. That's just showing off. Right? That's I, like, yeah. not only can I hit an asteroid, I can hit one that's doing something ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Also, if you were on the big asteroid, you'd be so mad that they ruined your moon. <laughs> I, Very rude. Yeah, I buy it. I'm fairly confident that NASA and the ESA determined that these were uninhabited before before firing a spaceship at it. Yeah, but I can tell <laughs> that NASA and the ESA don't know if ghosts are living there because they can't see them. All right, fair enough. Uh, and our last question uh, in our round of random 
Police in the city of London arrested a 17-year-old with an online alias I could never use in scripted content because it would be too silly for an alleged criminal from the UK. Why was Teapot arrested? I don't like that Kathleen is very excited right now. She right. just knows this one. This is bad for us. Why was the 17-year-old who goes by Teapot arrested in London? <laughs> yeah. Good. Great. Don't know why I put the blank ones down. There's some great down. suggestions from chat, it's, most of which are wrong. It's not It's not like DJ Teapot or like Teapot Killer or something. It's no. Just, just Teapot. Just Teapot. Everybody good? All right. So the first question I asked you was, uh, what was the behind-the-scenes drama before Elton John's Disney Plus concert? Team Thick Funnel, what have you, what have you come up with? Uh, I'm going to level with you. I didn't know a single thing that you, you asked me today. Right, so Elton John yes. is a musician. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that part, that part we got. Okay. Play yeah. the piano, man. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, he, he's the, he's like a young guy too, isn't he? Yeah. They made like a documentary about him. Yeah. Yeah. Some kind of rocket man. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, so uh, we like we, we went back and forth on a couple of ideas. I know that he did a song with Britney, Britney Spears. Yeah, yeah, and something with Tua Lipa, Dua Lipa, Dua Lipa, Dua Lipa. To which you said, "Does she suck?" <laughs> which was like, "Damn." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, there's only one thing that could have made the internet mad. Uh, apparently, he canceled Dua Lipa. <laughs> All right, Elton John canceled and, Dua Lipa. Yeah, is, your... is he canceled? All right. Well, we'll find out in a moment. Okay. Uh, team Visigoth. Um, you know, despite the fact that I pride myself on knowing a lot of celebrity garbage, um, because I, that's, that's, that's one of the things I contribute to actual trivia teams. I, I thought Elton John's last concert was supposed to be at Glastonbury. Yeah, that would make a lot more sense. You see, Graham, all throughout human history, Elton John has played at Glastonbury, which is a music festival in the United Kingdom. Ah. <laughs> Uh, but I also didn't know that he did this and it was streamed on Disney Plus, but I thought that's okay. There's many Disney adjacent starlets that could be used to make some drama. So uh, I said that uh, Ariana Grande and him got into a fight over a panini. A panini. <laughs> mm. <laughs> they both went for the one with the brie and apple at the same time, and you know what? Both of them are accustomed to getting what they want. It was right. ugly. I, yeah. I like the specificity of that. Yeah. yeah. Ariana Grande went in for the chop across the solar plexus. And they're right. like, he's in his 70s. What's wrong with you? And he's like, ha, ah, do you yeah. underestimate me? It was, it was, uh, it was yeah, like, just, she, like she, the very she strong take crack them. across yeah. it, and then like his chest caved in and cocaine poured out. <laughs> Like oh, is that where he's been keeping it? Yeah. Or kind of like Senator Stephen Armstrong. <laughs> Sparkling uh, cocaine, of course. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Team Beef Swellington, what's your answer? Well, Graham, I'm surprised that this information actually got out for the first part. You see, Disney World and Disneyland, they, they, they have this backstage area that runs all the way into the park. They call it backstage. Oh, yes. and, and that's where the employees, or cast members as they're called, are, are able to, uh, to perform their various activities, such as, and, and unfortunately in this instance, a, a knife fight between uh, our good friend uh, Donald Duck and uh, Mickey Mouse. Uh, Elton John kind of got in the middle of that mm -hmm. and got all cut up. Try, try, try to help a couple friends and then just, uh, well, couldn't play. You can see this, this will be in the next Kingdom Hearts expansion. Yes. <laughs> you, you, I don't think any of you are going to like that uh, Beej and Ian are the closest <laughs> correct <laughs> answer. I, I think you're wrong. I, I'm certainly the I most upset by that. Me. <laughs> They're... N unfortunately nobody is correct some people in chat did get this correct but it does have to do with behind the scenes drama at Disney rather than Elton John's concert specifically mm. because the day of the concert was when Bob Iger returned to Disney supplanting the much maligned CEO Bob Chapek who was supposed to introduce Elton John's broadcast right. on Disney Plus. Oh, no. And so did not end up doing that, in fact. So this was the did return Bob, of Bob Iger. Did Bob Iger do it? No, no. Was Bob walk up on stage, hey, eat it, Chapek. Was Chapek replaced because he was killed by Donald and Mickey? <laughs> I I think it was more that people were afraid so, that he that he would kill them. Uh, so it was, so 
Elton John's finale concert was disrupted by a coup. <laughs> <laughs> it, the, apparently, the concert went off without a hitch. Okay. But uh, you know, all all we heard about it behind the scenes was uh, you know. Right. That, this uh, is when Bob Iger had the board of Disney executed live on Disney Plus. Exactly. <laughs> so Order sixty six. Yeah. Who introduced him? Uh, no, they just they just did a normal. Uh, a I normal think most concert, people so. know who Elton Drown John is. Yeah. <laughs> He was the one person of this whole thing that I did understand. Mm. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. The next question I asked you was... So, no points on that one. No points to anyone there, I'm afraid. Next question I asked you was, what does D-A-R-T stand for mm. for NASA and ESA's DART mission? Team Visigoths. Cameron. I don't know, but I picked words that I thought made sense in context. All right. So, I went with direct Asteroid redirection target. Direct asteroid redirection target. Can we get a quarter of a point per word we get right? I will throw that to the judges. I'm the judges. I'll get back to you. <laughs> Beef Swellington. I, Dart? Initially, I assumed that it was going to be uh, Dodge Always Rolls Third. One <laughs> oh, of yeah. those very mm -hmm. well known um, things that people put on the backs of cars that. that uh, Calvin pees on. <laughs> but then we actually thought about the answer for a second, yeah. and we came up with a direct acceleration redirection test. Ooh, all right, all right. Ugh. And uh, thick funnel? I, I can't believe how off you guys were. Yeah, oh. we are shockingly confident on this, and we think we absolutely nailed it. Yeah, I think it was just supposed to be like an explanation of like how surprised they were that this actually worked. Because it yeah. sounds very like science fantasy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this is a damn, we think it stands for damn asteroids really truck. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of what else it would stand for. Yeah, well, honest. I also, I mean, the first thing I thought was when you said, what does dart mean? I'm a Canadian. Yeah. I thought we were going yeah, to smoke. Like, yeah. <laughs> Smokes? So you, uh, you correctly identified asteroid as oh. being the answer for, for, for A, and you correctly identified redirection mm -hmm. as being okay. correct for R, meaning that you, uh, Team Visigoths, did indeed correctly guess Asteroid redirection. The other words are double asteroid redirection test. So mm. actually, you got test as well. So unfortunately, that's no points. But very good job all around. Double asteroid. Double. I don't think asteroid. we're allowed to say that. Did he send Hold two away. asteroids? Oh yeah. What was? The, but they mentioned one asteroid. Wait, we don't send the asteroids. That's <laughs> not what happened here. We, yeah, they send an asteroid. Pull. <laughs> what did asteroid. we send at it? Again? We sent missiles. Spacecraft. Dark, yeah. spacecraft. A spaceship. Yeah. Packed we crashed a spaceship probably. into it. Was there two? There was a tiny asteroid called Dimorphos, which was orbiting a larger it asteroid. Had a name and they killed it. <laughs> called Didymos. <laughs> They, no, no, they didn't kill it. They redirected it. So it was like a mom and a child, and we sent a missile <laughs> yeah, at don't them? Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Do you ever wonder why <laughs> aliens don't want to hang out with us? I think we suck. I yeah. think we're the bad guys. Luckily, Did you guys no see rocks what? ever collide with other rocks in space, ever. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, there's just a bunch of aliens. It's like, yeah, you, guys, you guys see what happened to that asteroid the other day? Holy crap. <laughs> That could have been Bob. <laughs> Finally, in the miscellany round, I mm. asked you, uh, why was Teapot arrested? And uh, I'm going to go to the Visigoths again, because um, team, team Thick Funnel noted that Kathleen seemed very excited about this. So let's, let's take a look. Well, OK. I, I think that Teapot is one of those 17-year-old kids who's a little bit too clever for his own good, because I think he was the person who, who hacked Rockstar and revealed uh, GTA Six, Ooh, the working no. files, and then hit, uh, other things too. Interesting. That I couldn't remember. All right, thick funnel. What did you have? I would like you to guess which of us wrote this answer. Okay. Uh, DDoSing Minecraft servers. <laughs> oh, ooh. I think, I think Surge wrote that answer. You would be right, Graham. Oh, all right. <laughs> Point. I don't like to put my friends in a box, but sometimes they just write it down inside I, of one. Now, in I, my defense, some of the largest moments of cybercrime ever We're are from to kids my... DDoSing Minecraft servers. Right, and they have enough. taken down, because you can buy DDoS protection and it protects servers, and those DDoS servers protect lots of other things. When you attack a Minecraft server, you can bring down huge parts of the internet accidentally because they just funnel resources to try and protect it. Uh, like, there's a history of this. I would like to point out, though, that what you wrote was DDoSing Minecraft server. You did. You did. <laughs> I spoke actually, Minecraft sorry. Wrong? If I could actually, Ma it looks like it looks like Minecraft. <laughs> Tips, Fedora. Minecraft uh, servers. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, I got what you were putting Thanks, down. Buddy. All right, yeah. all right. So you since know, Graham got it right, how many points does he get? I, I'll, 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 I'll give myself a point. What did you, what did you two say? Asbo violations. <laughs> what does that mean? You don't want to violate the asbo. No. no, no. No, they'll take away your knife. Yeah, and you'll, you'll have to go home. Mm-hmm. You won't go to prison, but you'll have to go home. So the correct answer is that the 17-year-old teapot, self-styled. Uh, very skilled internet hacker, allegedly, because it has not yet been proven in court, hacked into Uber and Rockstar in the same oh. month. Congratulations. I'm, just, oh. I'm point really point jazzed that somebody got a point <laughs> yeah. in round one. <laughs> wow. I knew a thing. I mean, oh, wait, sorry. I mean, you got it in one? <laughs> That's a first for us. I, oh, we're so a, coordinated tonight. We didn't hit each other or anything. Yeah. Let's not try again to be Okay, seen. yeah, no, yeah. We've, we've won. We're tire champion. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we're goth. We don't care. No. <laughs> it, it annoys me that that story must have come out, like, in a lull on check... Or something b- between things on Checkpoint, so we never actually got around to... Like, we talked about that hack... But we didn't know who the guy's name was, what the guy's name was. We talked about it in an after show that he got arrested after they realized that it was the same person that leaked GTA 6 and hacked into Uber in the same, th- the same kind of methods, too. But, but I never knew his name was Teapot. Yeah, Teapot. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's move on. Round two. Even though it's literally everyone in my family would audibly groan whenever this category came up while playing Trivial Pursuit. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't pass that pain on to you. So yes, it's time for sports. Jesus. Bollocks! Oh. You jerk. Professional wrestler CM Punk <laughs> yes! used a post-event press conference to air some out-of-character real-life grievances which then led to a backstage altercation with other wrestlers that left half a dozen people fired or suspended. An oft-quoted segment of his so-called gripe bomb was the sentence, I'm hurt, and I'm old, and I'm tired, and what? (laughs) Drunk? (laughs) (laughs) I think that was just... I think it was one of those unsaid things. No, he's he's straight edge. He's got the the (laughs) X tattoos. That definitely, definitely causes people to get fired. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm old and I'm out of shape. I'm old. I'm down and I'm frisky, baby. <laughs> Technically speaking, it was I'm hurt and I'm old and I'm effing tired mm. and blank. But uh, there's a reason I don't have the clip queued up. But what it all boils down to <laughs> My friend, is that everyone's going to be, be fine. fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did he have one hand in his pocket? And what was the other hand holding? Uh, both hands were holding a muffin that he was jamming into his face. <laughs> I'm sad eating. Kidding. That's he a was, clue. It, That's a clue. doesn't scan in the song quite the cl- right. Again, yeah. this is a post-match, post-event press conference after a, after a pay-per-view where he won the championship and said this was through a mouthful of muffins. I'm, <laughs> I'm hurt and I'm old, and I'm effing tired, and... I'm going home now. <laughs> and I made these muffins for everybody. <laughs> I yes. made these muffins. <laughs> wow, yeah. Bringing people back into the arena for uh, for events really must make it a lot harder to bring enough for everyone. Right, yeah, it's true. You know, it was just the wrestlers. Show up with some rum balls. Get Is that how you would handle things? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get everyone loose before the nice night. That was, that was apparent. That was the notorious thing, you know, in the in the locker room. Uh, the Undertaker would would decree certain people had to bring great goods <laughs> into the locker room in order to uh, for for various uh, infractions. Com- infractions. Yeah, yeah. You weren't allowed God. to just go to Krispy Kreme and That's... come with a dozen donuts. You, you had to make them yourself. You've never lived until you've seen Paul Bear fondling a stolen like some sort of a <laughs> urn. <laughs> I mean. Wh- what Paul said is true, except beer instead of baked goods. Like Undertaker <laughs> did lead this, the like the wrestlers' court. Anyway, we're gonna move on. Mm. We had an Olympics this year, in 2022, the Winter Olympics in Beijing back in February. And despite some questionable venue locations and a lack of snow, nobody really wants to talk about. They went very well. They went especially well for this country, who set a new record for gold medals won at a single Winter Olympic Games. Mm. Which country set a brand new record for gold medals at a single 
Winter Olympics. You're not a spell in Rhodesia, right? <laughs> Wait. This is uh, a record for that country or for, no, for everybody? Uh, a, this is a record for every... No no country has ever won more Olympics at a single Winter Games than this country did in Beijing. Spiffy. Yeah. <laughs> if you know it. I don't, but I think it's a good guess. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just pleased that, it, that at least, even if uh, the panel is finding some of these challenging, that at least, you know... Five or so p plus people in chat are getting are getting the questions right, so that's nice for me. Mm. <laughs> and it's good for us that they're not here. Yeah, exactly. All right, our third and final uh, sports question for the round. You get one mainstream sports question. What did Tom Brady do? Oh man! Oh. I've got I have four possible answers. I'm oh. sure other answers are available. You only have to give me one of them, but these are things specifically that Tom Brady did. So not like mm. breathe or take a dump. We all did that. And if you didn't seek medical attention immediately. There what, are what, certain what things Tom do? only Tom Brady can do. Matt House, I was supposed to breathe. It's recommended. I don't want to tell you how to live but it's recommended. Team Thick Funnel, do you think, do you th what do you think you could do that Tom Brady could not do? Oh, a lot of things. Just be like a decent person on the internet for what? starters. Wait, does, wow. he, does he not have a good internet presence? I, does he have an internet presence? Do you think Tom Brady could DDoS a Minecraft server though? Oh, easily, no. Is Maybe really, his kids. Is it really hard to DDoS Sounds something? Yeah. It's, they've gotten better at it. Yeah, I feel like I feel like there's at least got to be like a GitHub for, Actually, where you can download DDoS software. You know what he could do though? Because he does have a huge following. He could accidentally DDoS things by being like, hey, check out this website and bring it down. I mean, we could just have to pick something very specific. Like, I bet you that Tom Brady can't consume like a five dollar hamburgers. And yeah, yeah, like a five dollar a five dollar foot long and then do like a milk run challenge. Oh after. things that we have done. That we have done. Yeah, I, mean, I bet I, you he couldn't speed run a horse. This is this isn't a challenge. Yeah. Like I'm not I'm not explicitly saying Tom Brady chug a gallon of milk and then do a five K. But if you want to and you want to film it and make contact out of it, you know. Right. No, don't call me. <laughs> yeah. I need to know it. how you would do that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's answer the sports round. AEW, whoops, hang on, whoopsies, hang on, whoop, there we go, we're fine, <laughs> everything's fine, the buttons are so small. AEW wrestler CM Punk said, I'm hurt, and I'm old, and I'm effing tired, and blank. Team Beef Swellington, what did, what did, what was the end of that sentence? And I'm down to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> with his mouth full of, uh... With his mouth full of muffin? Mm -hmm. Mostly so chewed muffin. Yeah. All right. Down to wow. Perfect. Okay. Team Visigoths? I thought I would knew this, I'd know this, and then you kept adding details that I already knew, <laughs> getting down to the real nugget of obscure crap, uh, the, really the heart of this question, so I didn't know. Um, so uh, I hedged my bets. I have my actual guess, and then I have my joke answer. Um, <laughs> it's good to, it's good wait, to prep. It's good to you can do that? We can do that? Oh, no. <laughs> well, sure. I can do that. I don't know if you can do that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, jeez. I'm going to go All die right. now. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Uh, wait, wait. Show me both answers. Let uh, me guess which one's the joke. Okay. <laughs> so I'm... I'm I'm hurt and I'm old and I'm effing tired and I'm the best one here. Yeah, or some kind or, of similar brag. Right. Or I'm hurt and I'm old and I'm effing tired and I'm surprisingly petty for a man in my 40s. Mm. I, I think they're both true to some regard. I mean, I'll tell you, the, 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 first, the first answer is definitely sort of the, the vibe he was going for. Ah. And the, the, second, the second half is more factually accurate. But let's see what Thick Funnel has to say. Mm. Well, there's only one thing that old, rich, white dudes threaten to do when uh, they don't get their way. Uh, <laughs> no, that's, uh, Back your sorry, BMW wait. over your child? Like, <laughs> CM Punk is not that old. Oh. <laughs> like, I mean, he is a little, like, he's yeah. old in here, yeah. but, like, he's in his 40s. Oh. You're not that far away from him. Oh, no. <laughs> you're, you're closer to uh, Yeah. Than <laughs> <laughs> but go on. Yeah. Anyway. You're closer in age to CM Punk than to any of the people who are popular on TikTok right now. 
That's, oh my god, that is so true. <laughs> you might be closer in age to CM Punk than you are to your teammate. <laughs> I think that might be. So, anyways, old white guy, yeah, 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 tell yeah, me yeah. what do old white men do? <laughs> this might be an excellent point time to point out. I have no idea who CM Punk is. Uh. But anyways, for this joke to to land, angry old white dudes threaten to buy Twitter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm hurt. I'm old. I'm tired, and I'm gonna go buy Twitter. Yeah, pretty sure that's what he said. And then the other events happened, right? A six pack of Twitter. So the the answer is, and the reason that this led to a backstage altercation is that he said. At a press conference with the owner of the company beside him, I'm hurt and I'm old and I'm effing tired and I work with effing children. Oh! <laughs> Just like you, Serge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, surprising number of people in chat got that one correctly. Good job, all of you. <laughs> I asked you a more straightforward trivia question. Which country won the record for most gold medals ever won at a Winter Olympic Games? Um, thick funnel. You picked a country, I'm sure. Yeah. You know, this time we went for an answer. Oh, good. China. Probably? You, that's all right. Fair. Fair. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll find out momentarily. That's it. You know what? They were the host country. They typically do well at the Olympics. Let's find out. Visigoths? Uh, Kathleen said that she watched the Olympics, and is pretty certain it was actually Norway. Yeah, oh. either Norway oh. did the best, or they had some guy who froze his penis. It's one of those two <laughs> things. The, the latter is definitely correct. Those could we'll both be true. We'll <laughs> find it's true. They could both be true. And uh, Beef Swellington? China, I bet. Ah. <laughs> we didn't want to. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hang on. Right. Sorry, you missed one. Ah, oh, we <laughs> <laughs> Well played, well played. <laughs> I'm afraid, however, no points. The answer was Norway. Good job. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Very good. Norway. <laughs> Do you know how many of the Winter Olympic sports are just like, what if we ski a long way, shoot a rifle once or twice, and then ski a long way? So many of them, and it yeah. turns out... Norwegians apparently don't have a lot better to do with their time. I mean, the Winter Olympics do sound like a thing that, like, Norway and Canada, like us frozen countries, are like, mm -hmm. oh, there's, well, we don't even get to really play soccer at all. So literally a sport which is cross-country skiing, and then you do a ski jump at the end, and they call it Nordique combined. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, like... realistically, it just sounded like we were like, fine, we'll go make our own Olympics. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the, the problem is there's not a lot of problems you can't solve with money. And so the rich countries kind of just do good at everything. Is that what we are? No, no, no. We, no, no that's no, why we, that's we, we suck. Rich. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, Canada yeah. never does good at the no. <laughs> no. I mean, we're a valiant effort on the part of the athletes, but we're never a top place yeah. in the country. I think. Yeah. Bring back ski ballet. Yeah. 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 With yeah. a gun. Bring back ski ballet. Mm. But first, riddle me this. What, what, did, what did Tom Brady do? What did Tom, Let's go uh, Beef Swellington. What, what did Tom Brady do? Well... It was a combined answer. Yeah, he uh, played football so well he got divorced and lost Crypto Bros all their money. All right, mm. that's a that's that's a variety of entertaining answers. Mm. Uh, thick funnel. Mm -hmm. Tom Brady is was very good at football and then could have retired champion, but but came back again and people were mad that he didn't just stay gone. He just keeps coming back. Yeah. I mean, he did. He does do that, like the cat. Yeah, Brady, right. Of Brady came back and the big Visigoths. Okay, so this is this is this is the kind of garbage that I know. So I've I've actually written you quite a treatise here. I got I feel three of your four facts. All right. Uh, unretired after he said he would retire to Tampa Dolphins? Question mark. I believe that's the team he now plays for. Uh, he got divorced from Giselle Budgeton because she was so furious that he unretired after he promised that he would retire, uh, and then he spent. Christmas alone because of that. <laughs> That's an accomplishment, yeah. So I, do, I cannot confirm or deny that Tom Brady spent Christmas alone. No, Gawker, Gawker had a story about it. Okay. They, were, they were making fun of him to, a lot. To be fair, spending Christmas alone is not exclusive to Tom Brady. Fair, yeah. Uh, the four that I have are retired, unretired, divorced, and lost $45 million when FTX crashed. That's points all around. Yeah! Yay! 
I am absolutely going to give you the points for came back the very next day. It was more like a month, but that's not very long to stay no. retired. No. No. On the other hand, I mean, I can't blame him. In inflation has been hurting us all. <laughs> that was Did before he lost all the money in crypto, too. Yeah. yeah. So what was the timeline? He unretired then got divorced and then lost a bunch of money in crypto? I don't even... Yes. I think, yeah, I think that it was like, they they might not have been fully, like, they both lost money on that. They might not have been fully divorced yet, mm -hmm. but it was like, unretired, announced intention to divorce, lost a bunch of money, definitely. It sound it is a, it's a series of when bad you, moves. When you have that much money, you're like, it doesn't matter if we divorce, we both have a ton of money now, and then you lose all your money, and then you're like, maybe we should stay together for the sake of the money. You know that yeah. meme where they push over the one card and they get progressively bigger and yeah, bigger? Yeah, yeah. It's like Tom Brady unretires, and at the end, it's the crypto market crashes. <laughs> I mean, I think it's Tom Brady retires. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, now round on. It's everyone's favorite video game. Oh, thank oh, thank God. God. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> I might get something. Well, let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> is that a challenge? I don't know. Let's I'm going to nail this. This round. whole thing is this a challenge. Yeah, yeah, it's the nature three. of what is yeah, going yeah, on yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gaming had a tumultuous year, not the least of which is because the industry's repeated desires to make NFTs happen, which everyone seems to have mostly shunned, thank goodness. Nearly all the companies that boldly shouted the futuristic wonder of the non fungible nonsense eventually reevaluated, backtracked, or quietly moved on from, as James Stephanie Sterling puts it, nasty effing things, with at least one notable exception. How did Square Enix president Yosuke Matsuda refer to people who voiced their reservations uh, with metaverse nonsense? I have many things I'm thinking of. Yeah. In his uh, open letter dated January 1st, 2022, he used a specific phrase to describe people who didn't want the metaverse. Also his things. <laughs> Sorry, should, <laughs> sure. on the back. should Team uh, Swellington have uh, another point? I, I think they are, it's only one point. But. I think they're only at one point, yes. Uh, yeah. Speaking of Beef Swellington, yes. How uh, do you do you remember anything that happened from January like, over a year ago? Oh yeah, I mean we were uh, January of that year this year. No, that was last year. Not this year. Yeah, no, uh, this year was this, real good. Something this, involving the Italian Senate. Mm -hmm. You're right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was legitimately going to be my opening question. Yeah. And then for this round, I was going to do a question about War Thunder, and then. Oh. Since I started writing the quiz, it happened twice, mm -hmm. twice more since I started writing this that did, did like critical government documents about tanks or whatever <laughs> get fighter jets get leaked on the War Thunder forums. I still process January 2022 like it was January 2020. Mm -hmm. Like I thought we still had our basic freedoms. Yep. Yeah, but I don't know. Something happened. I put on the mask in, in March and, and time just yeah. took a flip. And I, every every month is the same. Hey, whoever on the in the Russian in the FSB is monitoring the War Thunder forums is just using like white knuckled onto that keyboard to stay out of conscription. Mm -hmm. <laughs> producing the best intel the Russians have right now. Yeah, I remember back when the biggest war crime you could do was send a PS3 to Iraq. <laughs> you thanks, Boomer. That was amazing. Oh, those those were the days. All right, next question. Uh, I was going to ask you a question about identifying popular streamers, but looking at the actual list made me immediately need to cry and have a nap. So instead, a two-part question about the games themselves. According to website Sully Gnome, which actually tracks these things because Twitch sure won't release numbers, what was the most watched 2022 game on Twitch and where did it rank? So I'm looking for the most watched game on Twitch. The, the game was released in 2022. Oh. And where you think it placed in terms of like fifth most watched or you know? Oh, yeah, it has to be. It has to be, right? Yeah. Okay. Among Top ten? No, Among Us wasn't released. So yeah. this is this is this is worth two points. I will. Uh, yeah. I'll give you a point for the game and a point for where it goes on the on the ranking. And the game had to have been released in twenty twenty two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
most watched 2022 game in 2022. And where did it rank on Twitch in terms of... Yeah, yeah. popularity, yeah. Popularity. I'll give you a freebie. The yeah. number one most watched, quote, game category on Twitch is just chatting. <laughs> so it won't be number one. All right. Oh. Ah. It's actually slightly surprising that, that just chatting is is higher than uh, any one particular oh, game. Oh, by a massive gulf. Hmm. Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> you, okay, you okay there, Beach? Yes. Good, good. It's got a little 2022 in your throat. Yeah, went down the wrong pipe. Mm. <laughs> Although now that I think about it, just chatting is the category that Chill Point broadcasts in. So. That's true. So, you know, we're helping. Yeah. Or, or hindering. Point of, point of order here, Gene. Yeah, what's up? Does a new release count as a game that came out in 2022 or a new expansion or exp like chapter or something? I'm going with new game released. Okay. Though, so it's though I don't actually think it makes a difference by the list I'm going on. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yep. yep. How's your throat doing? Uh, it Good. I feel like I have a weird bubble. Oh, okay. Just hold on a sec, because I know these. I know these quizzes tend to go a bit long, so I brought myself snacks Ooh. for both of us. Lovely. So, there you go. Ooh, ginger ale Ooh, and boy. Pilsner. Cheers. Achaim. <laughs> I will tell you, for example, that uh, you know, like I would not count the new Fortnite season. That's. Yeah. That's, that's what literally what we were thinking, what we were thinking about. The new yeah. chapter. Right. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. All right. But we didn't want to just like, give the answer away. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And finally. It was a great year for video game sales, with Elden Ring beating out all but Call of Duty in the bestseller charts. It even beat Madden, which is a challenge, may, may be easier since this was the first Madden game released since Madden died at the end of 2021, and I assume the team took a morale hit without his firm hand leading the developers, he said, not knowing how video games are made. What was the fastest selling console exclusive in 2022? Not necessarily the best selling, but the fastest selling. Hmm. Oh, some quick, a quick answer there from I mean, uh, was, a quick answer there from the Visigoths. Yeah. Now you can just chat with me while the other teams are thinking. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing. I'm doing awesome, and I'm unmuted, which I always feel yeah, is know, like I, yeah. that's a key. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> best that I can we do. love that for us. I am upset that I think I'm going to get more points in the sports round than this round. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a weird sports round, let's be fair. All right. Looks like everyone has their has their answers in. So, let's begin. What did Square Enix president Yotsuke Matsuda, or how, rather, did he refer to people who voiced their reservations with NFTs and the metaverse as they went on to cancel, like, a bunch of different games? Did you know they had a Battle Royale, like a Final Fantasy Battle Royale for mobile that I have this year? Anyway, uh, Team Thick Funnel. What did, what, how did he refer to those people? Now, it's important to note that both of us are Final Fantasy XIV players. <laughs> 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 so I, we, tried, I tried to get a house multiple times. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is just like real life, <laughs> only I can't afford it, and it's a lottery yeah. system. <laughs> and we have a bunch of friends who tell us all about the inner workings of fourteen all the time. So in all right, we should know this. But I didn't know the exact thing you were looking for. So yeah. I mean, he talked about it being pay to earn. So I'm going to say that uh, he said that you're just the wrong demo, bro. We're dilt different. <laughs> We're just dilt different. Yeah. yeah. That sounds what exactly the... like it. It didn't translate. Right? Yeah, that's right, right, that's right. a thing. That yeah. Localization. But he talked about the, the concept that the coin, the, the phrase that he kept using was pay to earn. Or pl pay play to earn. Play to earn. Play to earn. Play to earn. Right. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Gotcha. Which is like super weird. What does different mean? Because I know dude I'd like to, but... <laughs> Dude, I'd like to Bifferent. Uh, what, would you like to Bifferent, Team Beef Swellington? What's your answer? Yeah, what did, so, what, how did Yosuke we, we Matsuda refer answers. to people? We did. I, so I figured that. I, I, I assumed it was something along the lines of you will be ashamed of your thoughts and deeds. <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing is, uh, uh, 
Beach doesn't speak Japanese. No. Right. But I also don't speak Japanese. Right. Beach speaches less than I do. It's true. So I, I, I figured I would, uh, I would try to translate from the original Japanese into uh, Romaji at least, uh, Kusojin. Mm -hmm. Which means? Which uh, literally means shit person. Ah, <laughs> I see. You think you, in an official press release open letter that he would refer to people who didn't like NFTs as he would, shit persons? He wouldn't call them shit people because you can't do that in North America and he would say Kusojin. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. I see. All right. Uh, I'm sure, yes. Uh, Visigoths, what did, what, how did he refer to these people? Well, I, I believe he referred to them as people who abuse the FF14 copypasta. <laughs> uh, <laughs> AKA <laughs> haters. <laughs> That's everyone in this room. <laughs> oh, oh, come now, Graham. We've set up bots to do it for us. <laughs> I don't have time to type that many letters. So, you, uh, Thick Funnel is the closest because he, he, he talked about people who were interested in playing to contribute as the kind of people that would be interested in this, as opposed to the people who are voicing their reservations, who are the kind of people who, you know, play to have fun. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 Casuals. Yeah. He, he called said, them I, casuals. He said, I know. Casuals. Casuals. <laughs> he literally said, I know there are many people out there who play to have fun, but... <laughs> You know, screw those people. He was the hater, yeah. my goodness. Our games are not for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's, let's start looking at some numbers. Oh, uh, okay. What was the most watched 2022 video game on Twitch in 2022? And where did it rank? Funnel Friends, what do you got? Uh, so I first we thought it was like, I mean, we were talking about uh, uh, Fortnite. Mm. Like, I, I just assume, like, the, as people who don't do the popular thing, right? <laughs> we've been known to not uh, go with the trend. So Live assume... services make this whole thing weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we talked about Among Us. Yep. Which came out of the VR kind mm -hmm. of a thing, which yeah. was pretty popular. Yeah, Among Us, Fortnite, we're trying to think of all the big games, and then we're like, what actually came out in 2022? There's God of War. Yeah. Yep. Sort of assume. Uh, but uh, I think we were just like number three, Elden Ring, which was just like a cultural zeitgeist. All yeah. right. You got Elden Ring at number three. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, behind just chatting and probably something else. Like special events. Yeah. Hot tubs. All right. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. The hot tub. <laughs> yeah, hot tubs. Yeah. So, yeah. It goes, just chatting, Amaranth, Elden yeah. Ring. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that, that seems to make a lot of sense. Visigoths, what did you end up with? We had no idea. Yeah. So uh, we also went with Elden Ring because it came out early in the year, so it's had time to build up views. Mm, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, but February we, last year. Or yeah. Late February, early March. Yeah. yeah. Or like end of January. It doesn't matter. It came out a while ago. All right. Uh, we still remember it. That's a success. But we said it came in at like number ten because it probably came in past like Minecraft and like COD Blops or whatever games. There's yeah, whatever the around. shooty man's is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The Tarky Malarkey. Um, <laughs> All right, Beef Swellington. Uh, I mean, we're not very creative, so we also figured it was Elden Ring. Mm. Uh, we thought of number four, though, because no, interesting. It, it feels like it would get higher, but not too high. Again, because, uh, you know, you've got the things at the top. Uh, we figured we'd go for extra credit, too. Number one is bath time. Bath time. <laughs> well, all right, let me, let me read you, uh, starting from number one, and, uh, you know... Tell me when you hear a game that was released in 2022. Uh -oh. So number one, as I mentioned, was Just Chatting. Number two, League. Uh -huh. Oh, because it's... GTA V Online. Valorant. Counter-Strike. Apex Legends. Wait. Fortnite. Wow. Um... Minecraft. Dota 2. Call of Duty Warzone, the 2020 one. Uh, 2019, actually. World of Warcraft. Slots. Uh, Lost yeah. Ark. Escape from Tarkov. And at number 15... Elden Ring. Yay! Yay! So one point for all teams there. Right. So I guess what we mis what we misunderstood here was the game at its peak, but then everything else keeps going after that, which I'd, really drives that category down. I don't think you can stop League of Legends. Like it's no. a force of nature. Yeah. Like, yeah. The LCS, like, right? Like, yeah. So big. We were watching it, and there was like half a million people watching, yep. which is like. The, the number on Twitch isn't built for that on a lot no. of screens. It looks like a stack overflow <laughs> that's, that's like going down. Hashtag ref. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you know they released a patch for the Cardcaptor Sakura game that came out on the Dreamcast this year from 1998? I did not. Mm. <laughs> 1998? No, 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 less than 99, because that was the... Why did they well, patch that makes it? the difference. Oh, no, they patched it to give it an English, uh, to give it English words. Did they, did they patch out the main oh. character's heterosexuality? <laughs> 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 oh, we just need to look at the source for that. Oh, wow. I can't imagine why we didn't show up on that list of top streamers. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. 
And finally, in the video games round, what was the fastest selling console exclusive? I'll go back to the beef swells for this one. Sure. It seemed pretty obvious. Yeah, Pokemon, uh, the, the, the one that's colored. Yeah, the one that was this one. Pokemon Scarlet did that, did Violet. Did not come out before Christmas? I assume it did. They, 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 they line up around the block in Japan for these sorts of things, regardless of the fact that it is now a digital release. That's true. Yeah, the, the Pokemon company themselves is actually like very against Desert Bus, so they put it during Desert Bus. <laughs> That's right. Every, Every year. year. Yeah. Every November, yeah. it's yeah. mid-Desert Bus, yeah. out comes a new Pokemon. It's the rivalries of the James Turners. Yeah. What, one must come out on top. <laughs> I just assume that Masuda at this point is just like, hmm. No, hate Penn and Teller. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bunch of haters. Uh, we too also want to be the very best, like no one ever was uh, by winning this quiz. So we wrote Pokemon. It's like it, everyone loves Pokemon, mm -hmm. right? And what I've else is that. console exclusive these days? Yeah. And thick funnel. Yeah, I mean we're not really into Pokemon, but we knew it was Pokemon. Like I'm, I'm pretty over Pokemon as a as a whole, and haven't crafted it as my identity or anything so but uh, we knew the answer at least <laughs> one of the best things in a quiz is when everyone has the same answer because then this the point spread stays the same i, yeah, I don't think we all have the same answer it's I feel like this question never happened yeah, what a our, waste of time <laughs> yeah I mean, ours was dilt bit for it ah <laughs> yes yes so i will tell you that the answer was indeed pokemon hey. scarlet violet so a point all around according to the npd god of war ragnarok sold more copies in 2022, but Scarlet and Violet moved six million units in their launch weekend, which is preposterous. I so, think it's yeah. the best alpha test they've ever done. <laughs> no kidding, right? <laughs> oh boy. All right, we're gonna take a quick uh, break from the quiz uh, because among many things that uh, happened in 2022, was here in town the Great Canadian Beer Fest, but I was unable to attend. So in so in so instead, uh, this. Please enjoy. Hi there. Those who've watched my vlogs know that an annual tradition is going to the Great Canadian Beer Fest here in Victoria. And of course, this past September, their first event back, I was unable to attend owing to my health at the time. Uh, however, very kindly, Ian has stockpiled a small selection of beers for my enjoyment. But that's only really half of the experience. So, can I just, and then I'm gonna I get the wide on there. <clears throat> What's up? Let's go to the Mid-Canadian Beer Fest. There we go. We're here at the Mid-Canadian Beer Fest. Oh, look, Ian's here too. Lovely. Yeah, the sun is shining, the, the egg is jiggling, and uh, all is as it should be on a on a crisp, January day? Yeah. This is weird. Yeah. Here's here. Have, have a tasting glass. Thank you. Let's go to our first booth. Ooh. Excuse me. Can I uh, can I ask you uh, what's a what's a dry hopped graph? Yeah. Yeah. So we're the Souk Oceanside Brewery. Uh, we've done a lot of different kinds of things that uh, have become quite popular in the past couple of years. Uh, this is actually kind of a funky thing. We are using apples. Apple juice. Uh, to create, a, it's kind of like a light, mild, tart kind of graft uh, that uh, I think is going to be a little, little tangy to the senses. So, uh, yeah, would you guys like to try some? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yes. Yeah. No, please. There you are. Sorry, the uh, the first pour of the day usually uh, it's got a little bit of head on it, but uh, yeah, no, that's, I think that's it's fine. Usually yeah. important for it. What what is? I I must have missed the part in that explanation where he went over what what is a graph? Ah, a graph is, from my understanding, mm. a delicious mixture of uh, of of your your wort, which is your uh, your your boiled uh, wheat and whatnot. Okay. And then a little bit of uh, apple, in this case, apple juice. I think you can use it's, other fruit juices. It smells nice. Other fruit juices are available. Mm -hmm. But this, I really like it because it's a nice mixture between a, a cider and a, and a, a good lager. Mmm. Yeah, it's pretty good. What do you think? What do you boys think? Yeah. No, I, I, I dig that. That, that. that is really good. I've never heard... I mean, the, the beer fest a couple years ago is where I first heard of a goza and I had to ask. I was like, what's a Ghosts? Go goose? goose? 
And they're like, oh, it's Goza. And I'm like, cool. And then they told me what a Goza was. Now I see Gozas everywhere. Maybe I'll start to see more graphs. I'm certainly hoping so. This was one of my favorites of the year. Yeah, this is awesome. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Have a great bear fest or here at Centennial Moon Base Square. All right, well, I guess we should find the next booth. Yeah, let's go. All right, now the the far side of the the Centennial Moon Base, it's the uh, booth for Strangefellows Brewery. What do we got going on here? Well, how do you boys feel about Saison's? I'm a big fan. I feel I feel pretty good about Saison's. What's this one? So this is the Moon Rabbit. Uh, it's got kind of a fun, unique flavor. It's it's bright and peppery, which is kind of fun, and also uh, very citrusy. You know, that was the word of the year this year. I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. Szechuan Saison. Mm -hmm. Interesting. How, have you tried this one before? Oh, yes. It's, I, I, I like the Szechuan peppery, almost the way it, it, it dulls the senses just a bit. The same way you get with a, a nice spicy Szechuan beef. Huh. Okay, well, I can't wait to try it. We've got an extra pump down here. Enjoy, y'all. Thanks. Cheers. Where is Strange Fellows Brewing located? I think they're in Vancouver. Oh, a lot of these are I pretty local. I mean, it's wouldn't have known. Easy to, easy to import. Mm. Oh, that. Mm. Wow, you you can really taste the pepper. Mm -hmm. A lot of these really would be uh, really refreshing on a nice hot day. But mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, the small space that they've found for the beer fest this year, really. Uh, it's stuffy enough. <laughs> On the one side, it's actually kind of nice. It's air conditioned, uh, which is, you know, usually missing from beer fest. So it's an interesting spot they put us in this year, mm -hmm. but uh, definitely miss the sun. I'm trying to figure out, again, I'm so out of practice. I'm trying to figure out a way to describe this beer that's not just, oh, nice. <laughs> you know, the Wiggins. Mm -hmm. I find the, 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 you get hit up front with the Szechuan that is absolutely masking that classic deep Saison flavor to it and just kind of reveals itself to it effervescently as it kind of boils off the tongue. I, eff, yeah, wow. Effervescently. I'm, I'm stumbling over n not conflating, like not just portmanteauing the words Szechuan and Saison. So it's like Sesson, Swayzen. Yeah, you need a few more. Patrick Swayzon. You're going to need a few more samples before you can start talking like that. Yeah, we'll get there, I'm sure. Uh, thank you. Yeah, no worries. Have a great bear fest here at Centennial Moon Base Square. All right, let's, let's go to the next booth over that way, I guess. I think so. All right, cool. Nice carpets for a hundred-year-old venue, too. It's not bad. Hi, Heather. All right, we're here now at the Category 12 booth. Old friends of Beer Fest. Yeah, unfortunately, they've drawn the short straw for booth placement this year, and they're over by the servers. Area. So it's a bit loud. Hey, guys, uh, welcome to the Category 12 uh, booth here by the server room. Uh, we've got the... Uh, came with the uh, containers to hold things. Uh... This is the uh, the Oak, uh, Oak Folder Aged Irrational. Oh, Folder Aged. Yeah, it's uh, it's an India Pale Ale, so it comes to us from India. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes a little while to get over here, uh, but uh, the 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 travel time for it really helps with the for, for fermentation of uh, of the beer. So it 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 has that cut above every other sort of IPA that you might find. I'd love to try that. Thank you. Sure. What did what did he say it was? Uh, it's 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 a uh, oak fodder aged uh, India pale ale, um, and it's uh, I don't know why he, they're they're shipping it from India. I don't think that's correct, but he is right about the aging thing. This is uh, one of their uh, their uh, higher end anniversary beers where they uh, they they take the APA and they age it in an oak barrel. What's a fodder? Uh, a barrel. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Here you go, sir. Oh, th whoop! Thank you. No problem. Oh, wow. you can really smell the fodder. Yeah, the oak is very present. Yeah, but 
Uh, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, this is a strong beer, is it not? This is a higher than 5%? Probably. Yeah. Okay. S smooth for an IPA. Mm. It's not... When I... It's gotten so bad here in the Pacific Northwest. I think they're I think they're course correcting now over the past couple of years. For a while there, it was like IPA means hop town, mm -hmm. and this is this is really nice. This is an absolutely uh, delicious sipping beer. I, I did look it up uh, afterwards, and eight point two apparently. Really, we're setting it with this. It does not taste like it. Oh yeah, but it does. It's nice that they have that kicking around. Yeah, Burton Basilicus. Which is the uh, the yeast they used for this? Oh, which is why you get that uh, that that funky saisony taste to it too. Okay, so. yeah, this is honestly this is delicious, and I'm happy to now be in a future where I don't have to just immediately pass on everything that says IPA. Mm -hmm. This is this is this is real. Uh, this is really nice. Thanks, man. Yeah, I uh, I, I hope you have a good time at uh, Centennial Moonbase Beer Fest. Uh, yeah, thanks. Thank you. All right, let's, uh, th that way, I guess. I so. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, it looks like now we're going into... Oh, uh, something good in here. You know, something good in here, says Ian. Something, well, it's a little tricky, it's a little treacherous at the moment. I'm gonna get way in the back country here. Okay. Uh, hi. Hi. Welcome to Backcountry Brewing. They really put us in the back country. Um... This beer is called Might As Well Go For A Soda. Why is it, why is it called, that? well actually I should ask him, why is it called that? Nobody gets hurt. And nobody cries. Great, I'd love to try it. I'm up for a Pat Benatar beer. Okay. Uh... Oh, it's pink. I mean, I knew it's pink. That's one of those extra small, tr easily transportable kegs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, we've got all kinds of them. Um, usually they come a little bit smaller, but we brought the uh, the tall kegs. Mm. Oh, wow, actually. So this is described as a cherry cola? Really? A cherry cola beer? Yes. What kind of, what kind of beer actually, though, is it? Uh, it's a sour. Which you can kind of, oh, whoa, this rules. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you can't have any more. This one's mine. Well, this must be good. comes highly recommended. All right, cheers. Oh, that's dangerous, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's smooth, but just a little bit tart on the end. Yeah, but it almost doesn't taste like beer. No, no, you are, it feels like you're, it doesn't look like it, but it feels like you're just drinking those uh, those gummy candies. Yeah, and I love them. Oh boy. Oh, oh, that's really good. Oh boy. Oh, that, yeah, that is, it's sweet, but it's not cloying. It's not jammy. Mm -hmm. It's just, and it's not, it's a sour without being sour. Yeah, it's, this is where I like to see more beer going. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Well, hey, thank you. No problem. Have fun at Centennial Moon Base Beer Fest. Cheers. Oh, nice. They've got live music over here. He's really nailing those high notes. Yeah. Well, anyway, let's uh, go check out this, this booth over here. Oh, it's uh, Moon Under Water. Hi, yeah, it's good to see you guys again. Uh, so this year we've got the, uh, the, the 10X, uh, the tranquilizer. So, um, the trank, did he say tranquilizer? He did, but if Steve Jobs has taught me anything, the 10, the X should also be pronounced as a 10. So I think that's the 10, 10, tran the 10, 10 tran tranquilizer. <laughs> what? I guess we put tranquilizers in beer now. Uh, it's got otter malt. So also with hints of otter. Cool. Uh, would you like to try some? Sure. Still working on my sabering. I've never seen someone saber a tall keg before. That was neat. Yeah. 
At least not while playing mono red. Yeah. Bold choice. Enjoy, lads. Moon Underwater's 10th, 10th anniversary. Oh, was it really? Has it been that long? Yeah. Oh, boy. Hence the 10s. Why am I so old? Because you keep living. Let's keep it that way. All right, fair enough. That's delicious. What kind of beer is this actually? Oh, this is an... Im it's a pale ale something? An Imperial... It's an Imperial EIS IPA. I don't know what EIS stands for. That's so many different letters. Mm -hmm. E-I-S-I-P-A? Uh, stands for every imperial sandwich is partitioned away. Oh, I haven't had it in every imperial sandwich is partitioned away to recent memory. No, but... But this one is a delicious that. You know, it's funny. This is hoppier than the pale ale from Cat 12. Mm-hmm. It is. It is hoppier. Yeah. But it's definitely got that rounder feel to it. it a maltier, not not by any means too dry, but not mm -hmm. by any means too malty either. Again, for for 10% alcohol per volume beer. This is 10%. This does not drink like a 10%er. Okay, see, I didn't realize... Right, because it's 10 and 10th anniversary. Okay, because the Phillips train wreck... The barley wine. Mm -hmm. That tastes like a beer that's 10%. This does not. This may be the... Uh, Maybe that's because I've just had however many of these in the past, however long it's taken us to get around the Centennial Moonbase Park, or whatever they keep telling us. Who can say? But uh, this is very nice. <laughs> Must be the, the ice distillation process. Mm -hmm. Oh. You doing Okay. Uh, maybe he's had just a bit too much. Uh, maybe, maybe let's go back to the studio. That's a good idea. Thanks for joining us at the Mid Canadian Beer Fest. Cheers. Welcome back to the Great Mid Quiz. Hope everyone's feeling mid out there, or hopefully better than that. If you've been enjoying the show, a reminder, of course, that everything we do here at Loading Ready Run is brought to you by you, either through our uh, your kind support of our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun, or by subscribing here on Twitch if you're watching live. We really appreciate it. So thank you all, everybody. Speaking of streaming, let's move on to our next category, streaming. But wait, <laughs> didn't we do a question about uh, about uh, like uh, Twitch and stuff earlier? No, no, this is, this is streaming entertainment. This is us oh, watching no. stuff. Oh. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, the current state of streaming services, though, is making a hell of an argument for the return of piracy. It's basically impossible <laughs> by design to get proper rating charts for streaming series because the companies don't really let those numbers get out there because then we know exactly how stupid Netflix are for canceling all their original content. Plus, those greedy creatives might start wanting royalties again. But I did find a website that catalog catalogs viewership of every video-on-demand service by their own trending and popular lists, which, granted, might still be massaged by the companies, but is more than they're going to tell us otherwise. So, first question, pretty straightforward. What was the most watched series on Disney Plus in 2022? 2022. 2022. 2022. 2022. 2022. 2022. What was the most... It doesn't necessarily have to have premiered this year, but what was the most watched series on Disney Plus in 2022? It's not really a series. Yeah, it's not this guy. Now it doesn't necessarily matter who Wait, no, that's has who has so, Disney Plus. Uh, it's, there's uh, you don't have to necessarily watch Disney Plus. You know, I think it's I think on it Yeah, because yeah. definitely disappointed people. <laughs> that's my guy. What else did they make? Oh, oh God, so many things. So but that one was the one that people were really excited for. Yeah, uh, that's really clever. The only other yeah. one I can think of is. All right. I yeah, think. I mean, right? Oh. I think. I think. Yeah. I have think. Like, All right. The one that came before that. I gotta stop. Really mm -hmm. We. I came into this thinking like an adult of what I watch, uh -huh. and then I realized mm. that children watch. Disney shows and Disney programs, and that could oh. and that could skew stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you gave him a hint. 
I heard a, I heard a deep sigh from Kathleen. That was a gasp. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a deep gasp from Kathleen. It was a shallow gasp. She's I was trying to stay undercover. She's trying to reevaluate her answer now. Anyhow. You can't give these these two any clues. No, right. They're out here to win. Yeah. <laughs> Not like us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to win. Oh, are we? Shoot. Okay, let me rearrange my priorities here. Uh, I'm just here to make joke. All right, well, I'm going to read out the next question, too, and give you more time to think. You'd probably have a much easier time knowing or guessing Amazon's top series. So instead, let's see how much cultural penetration that platform really has for those of us in the room. Name any one series in the bottom half of Amazon Prime's top ten. So I'm looking for numbers six through ten. Name any Amazon Prime series that shows up in their six through ten. Because yeah. again, you could probably guess. guess. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Number I have, one. I have a guess I as well. can't sure. name any of them. Are you talking like original Amazon series or just not? One just... you can watch on Prime. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can't I name any. I, was say. I will say good. Do a line and do a good news for Amazon that they're number one by a considerable margin is uh, Rings of Power, so at least that's paying out for them. Mm -hmm. Presumably, I don't know how you quantify sure, stuff maybe. like that. Yeah. 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 It's okay to write two answers. Yeah, thank you. And thirdly, in an article on Polygon, Netflix shared their top five most watched series in 2022, which were in order, Stranger Things, Wednesday, Dahmer, Bridgerton, and Inventing Anna. But according to their own numbers, that's not the case, and I know this because I downloaded their publicly available, independently produced Excel spreadsheets and did a bunch of counting. So, which of these shows is not actually in Netflix's top five? Stranger Things, Wednesday, Dahmer, Bridgerton, and Inventing Anna. I've never heard of Dahmer. It's quite popular. Clarification. Yeah. Which one of these or which of these? Is there only one correct answer? What? Yes, there is only one correct okay, answer. Thank you. Yeah, I was trying not to lay that down. I no, no, you to, yeah. no, no. I, oh, I, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate. Uh, I appreciate the yeah. desire for clarity. Because it's just 2022. Okay. I think yeah. it's going to be. One of those. Turn, it turns out that there's a wet, there's a page on Netflix's website where you can go and just yeah. download Excel spreadsheets, uh, broken down by week. Wow. Of like all their 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 one through ten movies and series, uh, every every week since July twenty twenty one when they brought in a third party company to <laughs> to to track all that. So did you? Download... And then they went and lied to Polygon. What's up? So did you went and like download like fifty two weeks of information? Oh yeah. I'm so proud of and you. I did counting with check marks and everything. Oh. oh. Yeah, I went I went through and looked at any time a series showed up in the top five of any given week. Um, so, oh. yeah. But first, let's go back to the top of this round. I was going to say, you could do a group buy and actually like collect that automatically. But I'm sure that there's a bunch of... It, their spreadsheet was not laid out well, let's okay. put it that way. And I I, I, I was, couldn't figure out the way to... like. Just don't worry, do everyone in properly. chat right now is just sending you Excel formulas mm -hmm. on how to do mm -hmm. it. Yeah, you know, Knock the, yourselves out. The real, the real money is in finding someone who can take those Excel formulas and turn them into a little web app for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so let's, let's go back to uh, what was the most watched series on Disney Plus in 2022. Thick Funnel, you seemed to have a, a pretty good, a pretty good uh, guess you, you feel. Yes. Yeah, so we were like, I in 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 nerd like adult oh, yeah. fashion. We're like, we're like, like oh, it's MCU be or, or, or Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah, so like, something and like, with that. And I'm like Andor, and then Ben's like, think of the literal actual babies. Yeah, oh, yeah. I assume parents buy Disney Plus. Yeah. for their kids and whatnot, and nonstop. And even I partake in this. I made a a certain Sona of sorts uh, mm -hmm. to, to see what it looked like. I think it's Bluey. Bluey. I think oh. a Bluey Sona is the 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 one that yeah. uh, that's 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 what we when Will Slam thing. Right. Yeah, Bluey. Yeah. Okay, Visigoths. What do you think? We oh, go ahead, please. Oh, no, no. <laughs> You're we so went polite. on the same would you like emotional journey <laughs> as you guys. Oh, did you? Yeah. Was it before or after I it said was the after the, It was <laughs> after the gasp. It was after the gasp. <laughs> so here, start us off. So Cameron, what was your initial thought? Uh, my initial thought was Andor. And um, I was, 
Yeah, and I was like, I don't think that's right. I think that Andor is one of those shows that's critically beloved and good, therefore other people aren't watching it. Mm. I think it's got to be something more mainstream, but I couldn't think of what it would be, right? I was like, some sort of Marvel show, and then you said, think of the children, I was like, it's Bluey! Yeah. So, so if they get a point, we get two. <laughs> is that how that works? It should. I it's mean, I'm just happy to share in their victory. Oh. This is gonna because I don't want to dive too deep into this because when Graham says it ain't bluey, I, I don't I don't want to like double yeah. down on this. this but this they sequence. are up two on us. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> we don't get anything in the end. Andor struck through and bluey. All right, team team uh, beef Swellington. Pardon as, me. As much as I wanted it to be the Owl House, mm -hmm. right. I let Ian write the answer. Yeah, so, I wish. Yeah, and, and you all were saying, like, think of the children. And, and so, yeah, Bluey comes up a lot, right? But then you said, things that are good are not things that people watch. Mm -hmm. So that eliminates Bluey from the equation. <laughs> which means that, uh, and honestly, really, this is a question about, uh, about statistics and about uh, uh, surveillance. Mm -hmm. And what better way to get kids interested in living in a surveillance society than a cartoon animated broadcast called Paw Patrol. <laughs> a cartoon animated broadcast. All right. A Paw cartoon Patrol's animated Netflix. broadcast with a Netflix deal. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Graham? Some of us never left piracy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can save that live on Twitch now. <laughs> so, well, you know how hard it is to steal Twitch streams? They give away for free. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, now we got to change our VPN, Beach. <laughs> So I also uh, was was surprised at the results of the the sort of the the MCU and the Star Wars stuff because you may be surprised to know that number ten on the Disney Plus list for the year was Moon Knight, mm -hmm. number nine was Andor, oh. number seven was She Hulk, Attorney at Law, oh. uh, Bluey. Was number five. Oh, Ooh. see, that's why. You, that's oh, why you don't okay, double down. Okay, okay. <laughs> Never have conviction. I mean, but we're not going to be right. The most watched series on Disney Plus in 2022 is a lot easier to guess if you recall that back in 2019 they Disney bought Simpsons? Fox. It's The Simpsons. Yeah. 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 by an that's order fair. of magnitude, it is The Simpsons. I, yeah. I thought for half a second. I thought about The Simpsons. You said Bluey, and you blew into my mind. <laughs> <laughs> And that is the only thing I will ever bluey <laughs> on you. Uh, uh, next, I asked to name any series in the bottom half of Amazon Prime's top ten. Beef Wellington, what do you got? Uh, we, we we went with two answers because uh, well, there's the peripheral, mm -hmm. which uh, is probably the correct answer mm -hmm. uh, because. Uh, it was good, but doesn't seem interesting to the normies. <laughs> William Gibson scares people. Right, right, right. Uh, so we went with the Grand Tour as, okay. uh, as option two. Because uh, I remembered it was on Amazon Prime. Not Netflix. It, it wasn't correct. It was on Amazon Prime and not Netflix. We'll find out if you are correct momentarily. I'm going to go back the other direction. Visigoths. Uh, I guessed uh, one of the shows that it always tries to show me when I went to watch The Peripheral, <laughs> which was Jack Ryan. Uh, oh. Yeah. A Tom Clancy joint, I believe. Mm, yeah. yeah. Tom Clancy also scares people. All right. And Beef Swelling... No, not, you're not Beef Swellington. Sorry, it's the thickness. Mm. Yeah, the swelling and the thickness. And anyway, what's up, Funnels? What's up, Funnels? Uh, so I really tried to give this series a go. Mm. Um, and it's a thing that I'm noticing that any time I partake in a new fantasy or sci-fi series where I feel like I need to take a notebook mm -hmm. because the opening dialogue and the 17 to 25 proper nouns oh. that get thrown at me that I have to, you know, like remember as I'm if going through. If a series through. starts with a map, that's a red flag. Now, <laughs> oh my god, that's so correct. I have to say the same shit about anime for years. <laughs> <laughs> if you have 10 proper nouns in your summary, yeah. I'm not watching yeah, that. I'm yeah, out of yeah. here. Anyway, so Wheel of Time. That, yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let me let me run you down the Amazon Prime top ten. So the top five were Lord of the Rings, uh, Rings of Power, as I mentioned. The Boys. Yep. Yeah. Right. Oh. Reacher. The Terminal List. And you'll be pleased to know, actually, number five was The Peripheral. Okay. It was fine. Yeah. <laughs> so, so your possible winning answers, number six through ten, Wheel of Time. Yes! Hey. Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan. Yeah! The Summer I Turned Pretty, 
All or Nothing Arsenal, and the Grand Tour. <laughs> Points all around. Congratulations. Wow, go Holy us! Shit. The, the sweep. Bracketing. Yeah. I and finally in this round, farm. <laughs> which of these is not actually in Netflix's top five according to their own numbers? Uh, funnels. Mm. I fell asleep both watching this show and as I wrote the answer down. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can see in the middle. Wow. Yeah, I kind of I forgot how I forgot how to spell Bridgerton. It was right there. It was written in front of you. Uh, my partner loves this show. I genuinely don't see the appeal. <laughs> All right, uh, Visigoths. Uh, we went with Wednesday because it premiered late in the year. Yeah. So might not have had the opportunity to climb charts. Yeah, we're playing the numbers game here. All right, and Beef Wellington. We said Bridgerton because we think everybody probably already watched it and then stopped. <laughs> All right. So I can tell you the answer is Wednesday. Oh, yeah. man. That tracks. Wednesday still had four weeks at number one and another week at number two. But by either metric, season four of Ozark spent ten weeks in the top five, five of those at number one, a number one streak only even tied by Stranger Things. Hmm. Turns out, good job, Jason Bateman, a lot of people watching Ozark. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. Another fun Netflix fact, uh, The Witcher spent a week at number two, a week at number three, and a week at number four. That's The Witcher, not to be confused with The Watcher, which spent three weeks at number one. I can't wait to see what they have in store for all the other vowels. <laughs> Next up, it's the music round. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh yes. The gap gets gappier. <laughs> yep. Segwaying from the Netflix question, Stranger Things 4 was a boon to several musicians, some more than others. So for three points, name three artists, individuals, or groups that saw a surge in popularity on the back of this show's new season. Ben's got this. Yeah. He started writing before you are even done the question. <laughs> a potential clue. One, oh, of don't the stop artists, writing. one of the artists... <laughs> wasn't even used in the show, <laughs> but a song of theirs from 2019 was used in a popular TikTok trend about the show, but it's not the Shmo Yoho edit of Chrissy Wake Up. Don't worry, there'll be a different question about the Gregory Brothers later in the quiz. It's the internet. Come on, Ben. For sure. I don't so, understand. sorry. If you have any there's three, I'm trying to yeah. name three musical acts. This is, you get, there's three points, three points on the line here. Kind of wish I could switch with Jill right now. She watches way more Netflix than I do. She'd be crushing this. <laughs> Might not get the TikTok one, <laughs> but it was big. I didn't get the TikTok one. Mm. You TikTok? That's what I have Cameron for. No, I do yeah. not. You don't I, anymore. I, I, I never did. Really? I'm, I, yeah, I think, you did for a bit. No, oh. I'm probably one of the most vocal people in <laughs> in, in Lurr. No, 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 in Lurr, I would say that is like not into TikTok. Oh. Like vehemently not but into I, TikTok. But you're all about the memes. I'm because I'm a I'm a it's my it's my old man soapbox that Vine perfected the, the medium. Okay. And TikTok ruined it by making it longer than seven seconds. And so you're just going through like curated lists that other people do? That's... No, I don't even go through TikToks. What? You, you yeah. don't even have the first time I see TikToks is either because it's some horrible thing that my partner is like playing beside me in bed that I have to listen <laughs> to. <laughs> which by the way, the Borzoi meme, yeah. I, you I actually for I you. actually <laughs> want to die. It like I will I will hear a twinge from like another room and I will run in and I'll be like, turn it off. Like I cannot stand this to me. It's my weird point. Anyways. Um, I was in the bathroom and I just heard like the dulcet tones of let me do it we, for you. We were filming the PPR thing and Graham was like, so there's this meme that's like surrounding your dog. And I was like, bud. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so stupid. It's, it's a, it was a voice memo that someone left of him doing an impersonation of Miss Piggy singing cellophane by FKA Twigs and then people put it to footage of Borzois. The internet is, is a hell of a thing that we just Wait. can't stop. Hermie. All right. Oh God. <laughs> Visceral reaction. I'm, I'm with you, my bro. <laughs> For our next okay. question. We have a special guest. So let's throw oh, it over. I, oh. Let's throw this question over to our friend, Molly Lewis. Yes. Hey. Hi, Jenny. Uh, oh, right. Hi, guys. <laughs> a lot of 
plans had to postpone shows because of COVID or extreme weather in 2022. But can you tell me what band postponed 12 weeks of shows when their front man was in a car accident on the first night of their tour? All right. Thanks, Molly. There you go. Which band had their 2022 tour postponed when their front man got in a car accident? Who still has front men? He's, he's doing better I, now. Okay. Is Wait, Mark Hamill is a band? Is it somebody that you know? I heard it. No, it was something that I heard. I definitely heard about this. Was it a white guy? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, that's I, most of music. Okay, good. <laughs> We've got it nailed down. It was a white man between the ages of 20 and 45, somewhere in the Northern Hemisphere. You got it down to like a billion people. Was it okay. like a Maroon 5 kind of white guy, or was it like an Eddie Vedder kind of white guy? <laughs> That's actually a very good question. That narrows it down a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I like this 20 questions version of trivia here. <laughs> it also it also would narrow it down in terms of like how much would I care. Yeah. 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 Well, I think it was a younger guy because if it was like Anthony Kiedis, then it would just be all over like the covers of magazines True. after he got liquefied in a car accident when yeah. his pelvis shattered. Yeah. And if it was Adam Levine, I think the whole like your body is immaculate meme would be a <laughs> taste at this point, right? <laughs> Uh, so I have. We'll no get something yeah, down. No, uh, Princess Diana. You. <laughs> That's so You rude. literally you cannot, cannot write that. that. Are you kidding? I overheard something awful. Oh my I god! People too. probably oh, heard that on my microphone. <laughs> That's I, not that, okay. So you can't. Okay, apparently it's over the line if you say a person who actually died in a car crash. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! The cinnamon roll you know, goes both ways. He doesn't know anything Ian good or anything to make bad. That joke. I, I would expect Ian to make that joke because it would say? yell at him. Albert Camus? Like, <laughs> the I only like people who Papa. didn't hear that are like that <laughs> half of the table, the me room. and James. Yeah. No idea. Chat definitely I did hear you. I can't believe you whispered <laughs> over my shoulder, Princess Diana. <laughs> She's not even a musician, she's a dancer. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the most famous car crash I could as a reference. Oh my god. That's oh, the most Tracy famous Chapman. car crash? With Richard Hammond. <laughs> Who? Oops. Never mind. <laughs> Grand tour. Next, next question. <laughs> James fucking Dean. <laughs> That's a porn star. That oh my god. god. <laughs> oh my god. I am so old. <laughs> I'm melting. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, in the music round, <clears throat> nothing honors the wonder of the musical arts better than reducing it to cold, hard numbers. So here is a three-part question. What is the best album of 2022 as rated by oh. Billboard, Pitchfork, and Metacritic? You bring other people into it and it ruins the question. To note, I said cold hard number, so I don't necessarily mean which album did Pitchfork rank number one on their best of the year list, but which album did they give the highest rating to in its original review? These, these may be different albums, remember. Oh. We're looking for three different answers here. Oh! Jeepers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The Billboard 200, by the way, album charts ranks based on sales, and Metacritic we all know and love. And I'll do this. Oh, you got an idea for that one? Okay. 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 I, mean, it, okay. I, I think your answer is actually one of them. Yeah. So we're looking for... Do we have to know Bill the name Board, of the... Pitchfork, and Metacritic, right? Correct. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Do we have yeah. to know the name of the album, or can we just say the Second band? One. The artist. I yeah. will accept the artist. Okay. Because cool. okay. presumably they only released one album yeah. this... Yeah. Yeah. Spoilers, it's not King Gizzard, <laughs> so they only released one album this year. Yeah. So yeah, you can go, you can go for the artist. <laughs> Spoilers, it's not anything? King Gizzard. Sure, yeah. Sure. <laughs> King Gizzard did not uh, actually show up phonics. on... Phonics. Like, it was called Phonics. The only um, best of the year list that I saw King Gizzard show up on mm -hmm. was J.R. Yeah. Moore's best of and... psychedelic and uh, garage rock list on The Quietus. Oh, no, and I think maybe yeah, The Quietus top, yeah. like, top 100. But, like, they'll put, return. like, albums of foghorn sounds on there, so, you know... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. Wow, okay. You mean... You the Astrakhan Factory Siren That's Symphony. That's a good joke. So, okay, the, the top album is rated by Nature Ford. It would be... Oh, um... Did they, they, they may have only given this one an 8.4. I, I don't care about Pitchfork ratings, no! <laughs> <laughs> this is the second round, right? Of this, these two rounds? Yes. Yes, before we throw to I our next pre-recorded segment. Good, yes. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. okay, so we need to, who got into a car accident? 
Um, All right. Okay. We need an answer quickly. You're going to need an answer at the end of this answer, because we're going to go back to the top of the music round with what three bands saw success uh, thanks to Stranger Things Season 4, two of them in the show, one of them on TikTok, because the internet <laughs> is a wild and crazy space. Uh, let's go over to... Yeah, let's start with Beef Swellington on this one. Beautiful. So, Graham? Yeah. Uh, sure. Beef doesn't speak Japanese. No. Uh, yeah, okay. And, and I, I speak slightly more than he does, but I don't sp uh, speak enough to name three artists that you might recognize. Okay. Uh, so we've got Kate Bush, mm -hmm. and I guess there must be a Kate Brush then, which implies the existence of a Kate Shrub. Right. So <laughs> I believe the Kate Brush is an invasive species. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You want to cut all that out. Okay. Associated with the Plantagenet Kings, you though. Stomp those lantern flies. <laughs> Oh, wait, that's scotch. Keep <laughs> stomping up that hill. You really got me there. All right. Speaking of stomping around, Visigoths, what's, what are your three answers here? Uh, Kate Bush, yeah. clearly. Uh, Metallica. Mm -hmm. And I want to say that it was MGMT, Little Dark Age, All right. on TikTok. Interesting. Okay. Makes sense. Let's roll on over to the funnel. Uh, so, yeah, Metallica, Kate Bush were the ones that were in... That, that season, so they, I assume, got really, really high. And I could not, for the life of me, think of the third thing. And we're like frantically thinking, thinking, and can't do it. Like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And then as you're like, you need to have an answer right now. <laughs> no, no. Serge leans over and says, Green Day. Notoriously <laughs> <laughs> hot during the 1980s. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's I Green Day. It you know what? I, I appreciate having this more than having nothing. Nothing, that was the so thing. You know was... Who knows? Maybe maybe green. Maybe we're gonna see some uh, some dookie uh, hot on the TikTok. So the most the most famous example is of course Kate Bush. So that's one point for all teams. Good okay. job. Uh, Metallica was yes another one master of puppets. So that's points for Thick Funnel and the Visigoths. And the third one, I'm afraid no points there is uh, creepy like um, uh, metal uh, Swedish I believe metal band Ghost. With their oh. song "Mary on a Cross." Oh yeah. Okay. okay. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Go down just like Holy Mary. Mary on a Cross. It was Swedish. again. It was huge on on the talks. They, they're they are. I don't like Ghost that much because I don't like religious music, and they're they feel like quite like passionate Satanists, and I just don't like to be preached. <laughs> yeah, to. they're they're. I mean, they're definitely like in that sort of realm kind of thing. Yeah, it's just it's too uplifting. Like I'm so, just like. Eh. I I enjoy Ghost, but they. I also like when someone's like, "Yo, I love metal. I listen to Ghost." I'm like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is is that like when when well when Serge and I. Yeah, you know, uh, is is that like if a metalhead, or if you told a metalhead that, oh yeah, I'm into metal, I love Dimu, Dimu Borgir, and they just spit in your mouth before they finish? Like... Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I think the first time that like I I would just like throw like I when I'm working in here, I'll like put music on my phone and play it. And I think I was playing Dance Macabre by Ghost in here, and James came in and was like, "What's this?" And I was like, "Oh, it's Ghost." And he's like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, for the answer... Paul, should I just read the answer? Do you want to go to the... Go to okay, cool. Let's have Molly deliver the answer to her question. The answer is, they might be giants. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't ask the teams what their questions, what their answers were. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Well, what did you say? Now, well, I, I, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. What did you say <laughs> before you They might down? be giants. I got confused. Wrote that the whole time. Actually, hold on. If I may, if I may, if I may. Yeah. Because <laughs> I made a faux pas. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. I may, I may, I may have missed something. So in order to redeem myself, I picked a musical band yeah. that couldn't possibly get hurt in a car accident. The crash test dummies, because oh. that's their job. Mm. And also, before that, we wrote the real answer, which is right. they might be giants. Would be pleased yeah. to know Ashton made the same joke in chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one brain cell. Yeah, I forgot to ask. The answer sorry. is oh. they might be giants. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you okay, Molly, Molly sorry. Wow. Wow. That the sound wow. I mean, <laughs> what, did, uh, what, did, what did you have, Visigoths? Uh, we had nothing. I said yeah. Anthony Kiedis. Red Hot Chili Red, Peppers. Yeah. yeah. For, Rock, California rock yeah. funk group, Red Hot. Oh, I see. <laughs> Thank you. It'd be uh, so dangerous at his age. Beef Swellington. We thought it would be funny if we wrote the cars. <laughs> I guess I guess it is. All right. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. All right. My bad for jumping ahead there. All right. Our last question for the round is, what was the best album of the year according to 
Billboard, again, best album according to Billboard is whichever sold the most. Mm. Uh, okay. Pitchfork and Metacritic. So let's go to, let's start with the Visigoths on this one. Mm. All right. So I think that the best album of the year is for most metrics is probably Beyonce's Renaissance because everybody loved that album except me who didn't listen to it because <laughs> everybody else listened to it. Um, I've got foghorns to listen to. Um, <laughs> so I wrote Beyonce Renaissance for Billboard, but I think it might be Taylor Swift, but this is what I've already written. For Pitchfork, I don't know what they, I don't, I don't know what they read anything, but I feel that they probably gave Mr. Morale, Mr. Morale and the, or Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers uh, by uh, Kendrick, Kendrick. Uh, mm -hmm. a good score. And then I wrote for um, Metacritic, it's definitely Renaissance, I feel. Hmm. All right. Uh, Beef Swellington. Right. Uh, this is actually, I mean, I think we nailed it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we, absolutely. we absolutely, definitely nailed it. And I can't wait to see you nailing it. In any order. <laughs> yes. Yep. These could have been for anybody, yep. but you know the order that yep. they're in. First up is Top Gun Maverick OST. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely best album of the year. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. 100%. Adele's new album, uh, either Phonics or Phoenix, I'm not sure what. Uh huh. And then uh, Chuggo put out a new album finally, The Return. Oh. And it is one of his finest works today. Good Happy for Chuggo. Mm -hmm. I think Adele is only spelled with one L, but that's fine. And over to Thick Funnels. Yeah. Now, Graham, yeah. I don't speak Japanese. Okay. <laughs> and I do, but only a little bit better than him. All right, all right. Uh, but, uh, you no, know, I, I mean, I don't know. We were kind of, I don't know who would get which. We said Lizzo uh, put out a new album. Uh, so that was maybe the first one on Billboard. On Pitchfork, we said Beyonce's Renaissance. Uh, and then, uh, because Taylor Swift's fans scare me <laughs> so badly. Yeah. They are actual horrifying We have LPs. to appease the Tay-Tays. Uh, Metacritic, I was going with, uh, who you said, for Taylor Swift. All right. Yeah. So your answers are, uh, on the Billboard 200, which remember is by sales, Un Verano Sinti by Bad Bunny. Oh! Uh, yeah, that's yeah. fair. Metacritic, Motomami by Rosalia, and Pitchfork actually gave three albums a 90 this year so any of these would be valid beyonce's renaissance hey. let's go big thief's dragon new warm mountain i believe in you it's too long <laughs> it's so long and natural brown prom queen by sudan archive I agree with that. that I'm surprised so you didn't get that one. So that is that's one point for Beef Swellington. Nope. And, <laughs> no, that, that's right. that's one point for Thick Funnel. One point for Visigoths, and no points for. Let's go. Are we doing good? Let's go. Maybe we'll catch up. No, you didn't get, get a point. Oh, did it, did we just have to say three? Yeah, albums? I didn't. I didn't. Sorry, I didn't need this one as the order. Oh. This, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. So you said you said Beyonce Renaissance. I would have put three Maybe. albums then. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach you. Yeah. No for next year, I suppose. All right. Uh, we're going to take another break from the quizzing to check out the latest batch of stream highlights. Come back for the final round. It's online. <laughs> really? <laughs> His MF, before the camera goes live, says, oh, I've got a good bit. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll trust you on that. In my defense... <laughs> My defense? No, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I thought it was called Jump Scare. Stop talking. I it was called Jump Scare. It's Jump Start. It's a we're disgrace. Back. We're going to set the tone for the entire year, right, everyone? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be our best behaved, most funny, authentic, least problematic selves. It's going to be amazing. And if you're a fan of making bad decisions for money, uh, <laughs> check out patreon.com slash loading ready run see ya yep there we go ah it's so good to be back <laughs> wow it despawned you immediately yep huh i think we might have crashed it fun all right well do it we should should we actually try playing it sure why not yes yes good outstanding <sighs> that's double gigantic. up what? Fuck right off! Sorry! Can I hear that again? That's double locked. <laughs> ah, I'm so angry! You're not sure what this sign is for. That's why I want you to read it. Ledgers with tags. Tags with ledgers. Oh no. He, he's trying so hard to listen to you, Ian. Oh, get in there! 
Uh, and Matt, as for the number of castles in America, you can blame that on one uh, Charles Xanatos, uh, who was attempting to revive the gargoyles here in North America, as opposed to their native home back in Europe. <laughs> I just want like 45 minutes in Ian's head. Like, I think that's all I could take. Oh, okay, no, big, big news. 475. Byzantine Emperor Zeno is forced to flee his capital in Constantinople. Oh, that, breaking okay. news! Uh, yeah, I love Ian prefacing an event that happened 1600 years ago with "Okay, big news." <laughs> We're gonna solve all of the problems forever in this. All the problems, all the problems forever, forever. forever. There is no more problems we thanks looked, to this cult. We looked at the world and we said, you know what? We need to do. We need to solve all the problems forever. Mm -hmm. And the Let's best. Let's wait and see where this goes. <laughs> the best way to do that. Trust me, this is great. Is with boy bands. Oh, now I know. Uh, now I know. Uh, like, let's see oh, where this goes. Oh, boy bands. Everyone's got a boy band. But have your is your boy band made up of dragons? Oh, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if it worked in The Simpsons. Ah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I get the, the point of brewing, it's like, but I don't get where this, like, moral superiority came from, like, oh, I brew all my own decks. It's like, I guess, so that's how you want to play, right? But we live in an age where information is accessed instantly and across a wide scope of the world. And like literally a small little brick in our little supercomputers. And it's just like, this is the world we live in. Like, I don't understand why we all need to be, like, or not like a subsection of our gaming culture is being like, well, you shouldn't do that because that's just cheating yourself and the game. Uh, Cameron, hmm? would you please select two packs? I will. I'm going to take two packs of Jump Start 2022. Okay, and what makes you think you're better than all of us? I am. All right, great. It's a story about a youthful safety creature. Bible. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wow! Oh, oh, oh. Yo! What? I know what X is. No! You fell in a hole! Oh, he did it! Yay! Oh, it's the police! And it's just like terrible light rendering. That is. Jesus H. Christ! What? They have fucking guns? Whoa! Whoa! Time out! Time the fuck out! <laughs> Someone will get that. I can tell. I just have a real problem with this game because there's I've gone through my entire life not having any sort of a stressful. crush on a coworker, That's and yet this know. game just causes too many feelings. I'm going to interview you all at once and force they gave you to the, judge each other. If they gave our boss, I we work already. together. It's time to give you no candidates. Just. The water cooler of the ponytail. It's just a coworker. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Definitely a mouse spanger. What's your favorite part of the sewers? Oh, thanks for asking. I'm a huge fan of the cloaca. What the heck? Oh, we definitely should have taught someone how to do magic. I didn't get that. Could you try again? No. I love how this game is like, hey, do you want to add confidence? It's like, game, I've never added confidence to a single thing I've done in my life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oh, I can't cast this card. Chad, I know how Gaddock Teague works. I go to seven. Oh, and I can't thought cast. Oh, Judge! Wait, is Surge even here? I mean, I could rule... Uh, I drew the Karn and the Bauble, coincidentally. All right. I know how T works. If I see this in the highlight reel, I, I'm coming for you, Twitch chat. It makes me feel gross that I have to go out into the snow and like... And like taunt them with like elaborate puzzle games where their livelihood is hanging in the balance. 
like imagine you go to collect your welfare check and somebody's there just like sweating bullets as they pull these rods out of the machine that cuts your check. Why do we do it like this, Austin? <laughs> I don't know. There has to be an easier way. Erford, Renderford. Anniversary murder. Hello? Is your is your uh, diabolical doomsday weather machine running? My what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, it is. Better <laughs> <laughs> go catch it. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Piss. Wait, the car floats. <laughs> No, it sure doesn't. Oh. Here we go. Back up, back up, back up. Just a little bit, back up. Aaron, just back up. Okay, in my defense. No, back. <laughs> No, 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 I'm out. <laughs> but then again, I'm not a coward. Oh, man. Yeah. The, the enormous foam hammers what? that sometimes I, go through I the crowd. I crossed crowd. the line, but it didn't. Occasionally, I'm... what? Why is I... what you... the ground with your face? <laughs> 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 I, I crossed the line. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the time to practice your break dance. <laughs> what if I, what if you MLG and I catch you? Okay. Uh, MLG. Oh, I was so close. <laughs> I was so close. God, you're terrible. All right, let's try this again. Hold on, hold on. I got your stuff. I got your stuff. You suck. <laughs> oh, I caught you. I, I, yeah, you got me. Yeah, what do you mean I suck? God, your tall bean looks so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Your bean's at that awkward stage where it's tall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the problem years. Gangly tall bean. Let's go, Ian. Let's go. Let's call this gaming. No! Oh my God. What a gamer. Hang out. Be oh. nice. What a gamer. <laughs> oh! One of all of them, you failed the worst one, dude. That is the worst I one. I hit Y instead of X. Well, goodbye, me. Oh my god. Literally, oh, buddy. It's okay, I can get up. I can redeem this. Oh, that is not a fun way to. Do. I wasn't paying attention. Hello. Hello. Parades. <laughs> hey, Corey. Hi. Oh, no. One of us is going to win a crown today. Is it just you two? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even care now. I mean, obviously, I'm going to try, but I'm just happy that one of us <laughs> may gonna walk away from nice. today with a crown. No! And it's going to be... It's me! <laughs> we need to be smart and stick together. Bye! <laughs> His spine is in pieces, but he's, he's survived. Oh, somebody's off. Yeah. Oh! Oh! oh. Only two yes. remain! Yeah. I yes. took my eyes away from the prize! Wheeler is got it! <laughs> and the crown royale goes to Wheeler! <laughs> Nice it was work. It was down to just the two of you again. It was amazing. Holy shit. Yay. Amazing. <gasps> nice work. <laughs> you know, I just kind of kept telling myself while jumping. <laughs> this is not as hard as Dark Souls. This is not as hard as Dark Souls. <laughs> A 
wanted to dine on my thigh. I need something to calm it down. You see, back in the back in the keypaw days, they used to nail guard dogs' front paws to the front entrance. So that they could be very threatening, but unbelievable. The hound seems to be under the spell of the beetle. That wasn't supposed to work. Now seems willing to let me enter that without any more trouble. That wasn't supposed to work. I just thought, why not? Game. <laughs> why? All right, I'm gonna play this mountain, and I need to not die. Uh, so I'm going to cast a uh, fire cannon block. Wait. Oh, uh, you're tapped out. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to deal three damage uh, to the bird. <gasps> Go to combat. Make a pirate. Attack. It's a 2-1 with menace and haste. Block. Also, why do you have a tapped dance with the devils? That was supposed to be a land, and you're not supposed <laughs> to know that card in my hand. So far, we have absolutely failed to get the lyrics of uh, Old Town Road or understand when any celebrity was married or even indeed who many of them were. Um, <laughs> but we've been surprisingly good at reading each other's minds, especially when it's prompts about uh, James Bond movies and how froggy a doggy is. And um, we know how to appropriately cuck a Scotsman. Yeah. Thank you, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> We're sad about it, but now we know. I want to make sure none of my things look like they're for interior use. Uh, interior use? Oh, interior use. Gotcha. <clears throat> Definitely. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's not do that. No Nut November dates back to the 12th century, actually, when when foraging your your pigs on nut uh, was forbidden. Yep. On on the Lord's land. Well. Uh, is it supposed to be upside down? Oh, it's a spade. Oh, what? oh okay. What? All right, all right. Oh, Why is okay. this a tattoo of the Grimace getting shot through the chest while shitting? <laughs> <laughs> what does Beach think about how romantic this tattoo is? At least it has a flared base, is all I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Oh. Um. Don't look, chat. This is not for. Oh. Uh... <laughs> What was that about not making something look like it goes inside of you? I failed! Big Turtussy? <sighs> okay. First, for start, first, okay, hold up. Turtussy? Excuse me? No, not here. Okay? It's very clearly a tortoise, so it's tortussy. What are your thoughts on inner thigh massages? Uh, like you doing it to me right now. Sure, I guess. Hell yeah. Higher. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a, well, that's way closer than I thought you were gonna get. So I, uh, this is a PG stream. It's all below the camp. They don't see anything. They can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, you're not getting any of this. So I, I, I almost died today yeah. on the treadmill. Have you ever missed your? Ah! <laughs> okay. No. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Mercy! Check out our store at store.loadingreadyrun.com where we have all kinds of great things. Maybe a body pillow at some point. I don't know. Serge was asking about it. He's yelling at Beach. Yeah. Yeah. Telling him that he expected it to be made. You did! Like that. You so, did! That legitimately happened. So, in my defense, A, everybody loved it. <laughs> B, it's on the highlight reel, therefore, people extra loved it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. See, it's gonna sell, Beach. Yeah. Get on it. Yep. Well, there you go. I'm just printing money for him. But if you want to get things that you can get right now, how about this? Ooh, like Ooh. shirt. Like this shirt. Like wool black, Betty. The right, you're touching my nipple. <laughs> Ooh, very Sorry. Uh, you get that shirt. Just the one, but I was like, a dude. That's why we don't want the pillow. Yeah. <laughs> Originating from a royal edict by Richard II, March 28th is better known as Respect Your Twitch Streamer Day. Just just one day a year. It's all you have to do. The rest of the time, no respect. Just one day a year is all we're asking. Hey everybody, welcome back to the big mid quiz of 2022. It's the final round. It's time for online nonsense. It's our portion of the quiz. 
Because it's online nonsense that nobody really cares about, but it's where we apply our trade, so I hope we're all up to these memes and crap. <laughs> the panel doesn't sound confident. <laughs> I don't worry, hip. I don't want to be online. I did. I you hope there's ask... a test about new Mastodon clients. Oh. <laughs> you can ask a question about annoying dog memes because Ben and I, I think that's the only thing we feel confident on right now. Yeah, that or like, like I, I know a couple of like deep fried memes. <laughs> I, I definitely, I definitely journey down the like. You know, me and my boys at 3 a.m. looking for beans, and it's just like a bunch of aliens and a. Oh, yeah. Everything I know was secondhand from Beach. Oh, great! Everything. That, that I'm surprised like, you're so unsullied at this point. Then. <laughs> well, it's like I look at it and I go, "Oh no." Yeah. Well, the internet is a silly place, and giant baby slash notoriously garbage poster Elon Musk proved that some people, especially the wealthy and corporations, just do not understand how to be funny online. But it doesn't stop them from trying. So, how did Sony Pictures try to capitalize on a meme? Remember this? I do not. Okay. Um, I remember this. It was the... Got a mixture of, uh, of confidence and confusion. Maybe not confusion, maybe confusion. Consternation. Is the wrong word. Consternation. There yeah. we are, yes. I'm consterned. I, mm. I feel extremely competent. See, I drank that thing from my mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> this was legitimately one of the funniest things to happen in 2022. Yeah. So. I think so. Hey. Shall I? I'll read the next question while you think about it. Yeah, yeah, go sure. All right, cool. In an interview with YouTube channel Recess Therapy, a young boy named Tariq proclaimed his undying love of corn. Mm. <sighs> Another channel, Shmo Yoho, aka the Gregory Brothers, who, bonus trivia, are the same folks behind Songify the News, Bed Intruder, the Double Rainbow Song, and the inspiration for an additional work on the theme song for Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, remixed it into a 27 million view juggernaut. In that song, other than his love for it, what is something Tariq says about corn? 27 million views and none of them were ours. <laughs> he makes several proclamations about corn, which he loves very much. Give me one of them, other than just that he loves it so much. I mean, if you only need one, you nailed it. Something he loves yep. about corn. Something he says specifically about corn. A descriptor, something it can do. I'm trying to sing it in my head. <laughs> it just bummed me out that like it did so. So I'm, I'm, I'm like stoked about the kid's success. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it was just like it's such it's it bums me out that it was like this kid was just doing his thing like yeah. corn people enjoyed it and then his mom went time to get him an agent and mm -hmm. like <laughs> I mean I like that I still don't know his last name and you can't that's find fair. It. So that's they, true, they're they're yeah. they're at least keeping some amount of some amount of anonymity for their child which is a good idea we still don't know who uh, Techno Viking is oh, yeah after all these years we have fans who still don't know your name Graham they call you Grant like that's true more <laughs> true Grom <laughs> Grom by Grom. It's another name. It's another case of what did he say, but this time much less wholesome. Maroon 5's Adam Levine was the subject ah. of tremendous ridicule <laughs> for some leaked DMs where he said what to Instagram model Summer Stroh. Oh, Sumner Stroh, pardon me. You don't have to get it exactly. We will go to the judges. Again, I'm the judges. Pretty close. Oh, God. I can really like that. As long as I don't have to get it exactly. Yeah. Uh, let's see. In the, in the wheelhouse. I believe in you, Beach. I like that Cameron yeah. can recall this so well. He's illustrating it. <laughs> Excellent. That we well, we can probably show that. Something like that. I think there was also Stark. It was just like something. Like, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on a backup. So yeah, good. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back to this one. Let's go back to this one. No, it's it's like. Oh. All right. I'll give you another potentially easy one. I hope. Oh, another question. Oh, During, four. oh yeah. Sorry. This is the longer round. This okay. is the final round, so oh. it's longer. I've only got. How many cards? Were these supposed to be on one card? Oh, I thought I thought that's, I counted. That's I fine. I've got I two missed, more. I miscounted. Okay. Can so. we have another card? We're out of right. cards. There sure. you go. Right on All the right. back of one, maybe? Well, yeah, do good. that. Fold one and a half. <laughs> All right, next. During an interview, she later admitted she gave while stoned, actor and absurdist entity Julia Fox could not correctly pronounce the movie for which she claims to have been a muse. What movie could Julia Fox not say? Is 
Yes. I'm just, I'm just putting words down. What a fine answer that, that is. Thank you. <laughs> Boy, I hope it's correct. Oh, this is the card. Oh. All right. For our next question. Oh, uh -oh. That, that was our last card. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Hold yeah. on. All right, here. That's fine. We got We've this. got this and then one other. Yeah. Yep. But we're whipping through it. For our next question, we have another video guest. Oh. Whoa. So okay. here to introduce herself is Kat. Hi, Graham. Hi, everyone. My name is Kat Callahan, and I'm from Kitchener, Ontario. Maybe you heard about this, but late last year, I finally let the world know. And then I became known on social media. For what? For what did Kat <gasps> go viral in 2022? Damn, Kathleen Windmill Slam that. Yeah. Another cat. Hi, Graham. Nope. Hi, oh. everyone. Hi, Kat. Hi, Hi Kat. Hi, Kat. Hi, Kat. Hi, Kat. <laughs> Never seen you before, so this is going to go real well for me. <laughs> we got to start right. And finally, things. you can start distributing that. He's going fast, though. Yeah. And finally, in an interview between Game of Thrones stars Emma Darcy and Olivia Cook, they discussed this drink. It's a Negroni Spagliato. I have one for everybody except for Serge. What's in it? Ah. All I so want you to know alcohol. is tell me what is in this drink. I smell. Oh. Oh. Boy, that's strong. I don't know. Wee. Hot ass. Is it, is it it's cool? So at least cold ass. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, we're narrowing it down. Yeah. Winner gets the antidote. <laughs> Thank you, Marjorie. <laughs> <laughs> there's something fizzy in it. I think there's red wine in it. Got there. Boom. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's do some stuff right here. Says, Let's I thought Graham was yeah. about to start um, handing out pilks. Mercifully, no. So it's there. I like that uh, some folks are trying to sort of guess, some are kind of, I think it's kind of used for knowledge. Some of them are really, you know, they're getting in there, they're tasting it. These are a heavy pour. Okay, you've got a better one for that. But I followed the instructions, the recipes. These are proper. So. Oh, yeah. All right, everybody, are we ready to give our uh Oh, God, no. Answers? There were so many Give me like five, my dude. All right, all right, all right. Wow. This is oh, how surprisingly you doing, good. Jesus. It's all warm. <laughs> you, you don't need to drink the whole thing. I'm not gonna. No, you certainly can don't I have to. Can I take this home oh, in like a cake cup it. or something yeah, so definitely. I can drink it after I drive home? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you can drink it during your show tonight. Right. Yeah, I'll be drinking a flat, whatever the hell this is, uh, a Negroni Spagliato. Uh, a flat red. You, know, you can just pour it all that. back in the mm -hmm. bottle. <laughs> oh. Wait, hold on. There's more than one ingredient, so we Emma don't. Darcy there's no bottle that this comes in. Who were Emma Darcy and Olivia Cook? They were the two princesses. <laughs> yeah, in yeah, yeah, yeah. The Dragon Sony. Oh, mean. right. Yes. Uh, yeah. 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 I don't know. <laughs> And it was there was a, a delightful exchange. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Now, do we have the right order here? I loved yes. uh, House this of the Dragon. From these yes. Had yeah, one of the probably. best. Yes. That, one of the best comments I heard yep. about yep. House yep. of the Dragon was that um, no, what's his wait. name Matt Smith in a Versus white the, white wig looks exactly like how you would imagine Habsburg yeah. Legolas looking. <laughs> <laughs> so correct. Put it over there. Yeah, it's at like perfect casting. Wow. Great. That's, that's on the, the other side. I that haven't one. picked up this yeah. season yet. That's all right. It's, okay. 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 Let's Here. go back to the top of this round. How did Sony Pictures try to capitalize on a meme? Beef Swellington. All right. I thing. believe we get a right answer for once. Brought Morbius back into theaters. You've written down. <laughs> yes. uh, yeah. yeah. Let's see. Let's see what uh, what Thick Funnel has to say about. We were close. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this is. I'm trusting it's a it's a perfectly family safe meme. You don't know what this is? No, nah, dog. You haven't heard of Baby Nut? I haven't heard of Baby. <laughs> I don't know. I know this is wrong. I just had to write down a meme real quick. Yeah. You don't was, know Baby Nut? What, but... He was resurrected by the Kool Aid Man. <laughs> now, I'm not a moil. <laughs> But I play one on TV, and that seems incorrect. I yeah, yeah. Than he does. I feel, I feel like we're about to morb. Would Would Sony have succeeded had they baby nutted? Probably Planters not. Probably didn't would have been... even succeed with baby nuts. <laughs> no. Okay. Right. no, it did not go well. Okay. Is the guys, what do you have? Uh, uh, they were fooled into re-releasing Morbius. 
Tumblr was trying to get it to him, sure were. trying to get them to do it a third time. Yeah, <laughs> we were all busy that weekend. Yeah, so yeah. so yeah. 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 yeah, they uh, that is correct. They morbed too hard mm. based on the success of the then he morbed over all those guys meme. Sony Pictures thought it would be a great idea to re-release Morbius in theaters where it did even worse the second time. <laughs> Release the morb cut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying the drink again? I'm just going to keep drinking it. Next oh. question. Other than his love for it, what are some things that Tariq says about corn? Uh, let's start with yeah. Thick Funnels. Uh, the juice. The juice. He likes the juices or whatever. Mm. I think he says that. <laughs> All right. Uh, Visigoths. Uh, it's sweet. Uh, and it travels unmolested through your digestive tract. <laughs> All right. And I am, I, I am nothing if not pedantic and honestly while he does like the juice mm -hmm. what he says about the corn is that it has the juice <laughs> ah. uh, i just wrote the juice oh so still yeah yeah Those words were... has the yeah. <laughs> so it does indeed have the juice and i will i will give the, yeah. the the thick funnels the point for having the juice uh he also describes it as a big lump with knobs he says the best part is the grease and a corn break can restore your energy so unfortunately, no points for Visigoths there, but points oh. for both other teams. All right. All right. If you try with butter, everything changes. Mm-hmm. Next question. <laughs> what did Adam Levine say in his leaked DMs? Uh, let's go to... I want to see this illustration. Let's go to the Visigoths. I, the only way I could remember it was if I saw the, 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 <laughs> the format. It's and I good. believe it was, right. holy fuck, your body. It's insane. All right. But it was definitely like that progression. Yeah, I text that three badly three bubbles. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when you're horned up. Right? <laughs> like mm, that's not really an emotion that... <laughs> But the, it, like the platonic ideal you could imagine being, getting into the head of being, being horned up. Hand. Yeah. 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 Horned up for what? Speaking of which, Beef Swellington. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um as as best as I could cuz I've seen so many uh huh. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 So many yeah. renditions yeah. of it. Shit, what was the real one? And all I could remember is the body in question was, maybe is, uh, fucking amazing. Mm. All right. There's and definitely expletive. Yeah, and it was yeah. and it was a positive expletive. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. and uh, thick funnels. Uh, so we had what the fuck? Your body is impeccable, so absurd. We have the three breaks, and we had the im, like the the start for that. But I think we struggled on the last word. Impossible. Im impossible. Impeccable. Yeah, something had, like that. Yeah. yeah. Impossible. Improbable. So the actual improbable. Implicated in a murder. <laughs> you wanted to make sure that he covered. It's not impossible because that would be incorrect. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'd like to get with that body, and mm. if it doesn't exist, well, there's a problem. I this is what this is what Adam Levine sounds like in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a pavement. Phone. You know, trying body, to go home. Your body is highly impressionable. I think it's safe to say that that's going to be a point for all teams. The Yay. actual text uh, was in two separate bubbles, so oh, you're on the right track bubbles. there. Was yeah. It is truly, the word you're all looking for, it is truly unreal. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It is truly unreal how effing hot you are. Follow up tw uh, message like it blows my mind. <laughs> right. So there you go. We'll, he gets we'll do that paid one. to write lyrics. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. All right. What movie could Julia Fox only kind of say properly? Uh, Visigoths. Anka Jams. <laughs> Anka Jams. Beef wow. Wellington. Uh, we went with, uh, we give a couple answers. Queen of Squatsy. <laughs> <laughs> Inspired by, yeah. But then we thought about it a little bit more and figured maybe it's the fantastic Mr. Fox. Absolutely. I feel like Queen of is, is, you know, best, best enjoyed when giving a stoned interview. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> thick funnels. <laughs> so the back half of this, we were really struggling. So we divided and conquered and oh, yeah. gave the cards away. So this is the first time seeing this. Oh no! <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see you write this. He wrote Dune. Because if you did, you'd be like dunk, dunk. In, dunk. in her response, yes. Funk, 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 funk. Yeah. It was. I love you dunk. so much. <laughs> <laughs> the, the correct answer was indeed the Adam Sandler film Uncut Gems, which she described, she says in the interview, I was Josh Safdie's muse when he wrote Anka Jams <laughs> and was mercilessly memed for it. Anka Anka she knows Jams. what she's doing. Yeah. I, more power to her. All right. Question number five. 
what did Cat go viral mm. for? Before we see the video, I'm going to actually do it in the proper order mm. this time. Mm. Uh, I'm going to start with Beef Swellington on this one. I think you wrote this one? Uh, I, hey, hey, I gave an answer. All right, good. Let's uh, see it. I'm, I'm only familiar with women on TikTok for one reason. If they have remarkable abs. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I assume that's why she went viral. Yeah. Remarkable abs. I like that. All right, let's see the thick funnels. Nailed uh, it. Yeah, I mean, you, you already answered that we got it correct. You said we're about to see a video, so I wrote a recorded piece of media. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. Which I felt is, you know, correct. All right, all <laughs> we're right. all technical. Fair, and let's see the Visigoths. Why, Graham, she's the voice of TikTok. Oh, interesting. Oh, no. Let's it's the only see... way you could be wrong. <laughs> let's, see, oh. let's see Kat's response. The answer is... I'm one of the text-to-speech options yeah, on TikTok. Yeah, I actually know this now. So first yeah. and foremost, if you've heard my voice absolutely <laughs> everywhere, I'm sorry about that. But since then, I've had some fun with it. I even have my own TikTok channel where I make fun of myself and the way I say lol or celebrity names like Lebron James. <laughs> and also, yeah, I even poke fun at the fact that people use my voice to say things like shake that ass for some Kohl's cash. <laughs> So if I remember correctly, she didn't know she won, right? She sub submitted stuff, and then they picked her, and then she found out after the fact. Or I'm not entirely like that? sure on the provenance of that necessarily, but she mm. is a uh, currently working radio DJ on a on a top on like a like a top hit list station in Kitchener, mm. Ontario, uh, which is great. And uh, my favorite thing is that it, this was even funnier to me when after I found out that she was Canadian, uh, was that the that particular TikTok text to speech voice pronounces. Quebecois as Quebecois. <laughs> so that's terrific. She's at Voice of Cat on TikTok, and as you see, that she has a cameo. So I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't realize that it was a real person. <laughs> oh yeah, I thought it was just sort of an amalgamation of computer generated noises. In a way, it is. I've yeah. kind Merciless, of. mercilessly made fun of the TikTok <laughs> like yeah. voice yeah. on stream. Oh, well, he has So it's, it, it's, to built, be, it's to built be, from her voice. But right. Yeah. Yeah. To be clear, it's not her being hired to no. say every word. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, but, laughs> Paul. I didn't think she pulled out the fucking dictionary <laughs> and read it for like seven hours. Clearly not, given <laughs> some of her words. <laughs> What I'm saying. Anyways, you seem very cool, and I and see overall, I appreciate the fact that she pokes fun yeah. at herself on that. Yeah, yeah. I got some real bad news for you though about Let people on James. the internet. Yeah, most of them are real. Oh no, <laughs> curses. What does that say about us? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I'm I'm mostly here. I'm definitely not a real person. <laughs> Thank I God. Used to be. I'm just... All right, so. So that was we're a point. For, that was a point for the Visigoths. Yes. In a very real sense, we're all brains in jars. Mm -hmm. I can't. I thought ours was a slam dunk. I was like, That's there's the no way, way ostensibly he, he no can fuck fail. us out of a point. Yeah. yeah and it's happening. Uh, should I should have Dune one again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was in Dune. Uh, she played the Sandworm. I don't know. All right. And your final question. In uh, Emma Darcy and Olivia Cook were uh, discussing uh, their favorite drink, or one of their favorite drinks anyway, a Negroni, a Negroni Spagliato. Oh, Maybe I should put that further away from me. Uh, thick funnels. Booze. Once again, Booze. we can't be wrong. <laughs> oh, hey. I've tasted this. There's no way this is wrong. Yes. Also... I didn't get one, which means it's got booze in it. Yeah. It's definitely booze. Um, Visigoths. So we really uh, sort of wound this around on our palates to really mm -hmm. get the full flavor depth. And I, But I also know what's in a Negroni. It's mm -hmm. Campari and Vermouth. Mm -hmm. um, but there's some sort of fizzy element. Um, yeah. And we think it's Red Bull. Oh, interesting. Not right. lean? Beach, what is lean? I don't know. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. <laughs> Uh, you said, cough, Dude, you said that with the cadence of you winning, son. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we did the swirly as well, mm -hmm. and, uh, and and we, we we detected notes of Campari, bitters, uh, probably the Angostura variety, Sprite. I'm getting a little bit of grenadine and uh, something I can't quite place, but it's just it, it's. That's the Spagliato you've yeah, written it's down. Yeah, Spagliati. Yeah. I see. I see. Cool. So. A traditional Negroni, uh, Kathleen, you're correct, is uh, Campari and sweet vermouth, and one other ingredient, which is generally a dry gin. 
Oh. The spadliato, which means mistake, <laughs> swaps the gin for prosecco. Oh, oh, that's, that's the bubbly. I, I that's couldn't the remember what in the conversation champagne was in the the champagne at home. In the conversation <laughs> that went viral, they they explain you know a Negroni spadliato and. Uh, um, Emma Darcy goes, oh, and then by way of explanation, with Prosecco in it, is the full text of that conversation. So, hmm. yeah, so this is Campari Sweet Vermouth, and it's one, if you're curious, one part Campari, one part Sweet Vermouth, and two parts. Uh, I don't Prosecco. recommend it. Hey, it's 100% booze. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's just, oh. it's just, <laughs> there's no mix or anything in here. But that brings us to the end of the Big Mid Quiz, and I can't read the uh, scores from here, so <laughs> let's find out together. In we're not I'm last. Gonna we're say not third last. place, Team Beef Wellington with eight points. Sounds right to me. Yep. All right. Thanks, Bob. And take it. In second place, Team Thick Funnel. And I'm gonna need you to move that window, Paul, so I can see how the. Wait, it's been a mystery how yeah, much they're yeah. eating our ass. Holy oh, team! Yeah. Oh my God! You're oh, so no. Twitch chats know this whole time that we're just getting <laughs> annihilated. Yeah. And we're like, we might have a chance yeah. because the window was hiding your guys' score. No, we could never see the score <laughs> the entire time. Got to act like you've been in the end zone before. Honestly, <laughs> I, I I take the moral victory for simply having a clean tax record. <laughs> I uh, uh, I was That's sitting here, be, I was sitting here being like, "Wow, they're very optimistic." <laughs> yeah, you know, it really helps when you put the prompter in front of the yeah. winning team. That's the best way to do trivia from now on. Is we just yeah. cover Kathleen and Graham's score, so everyone else is just like, "Hey, we're all in it, right?" Yeah. yeah. Every horse that's not in last thinks it's doing good. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't have anything written by way of an outro because uh, I wrote all the other stuff. So. Instead, I will just uh, thanks, thank you everybody for watching, and I will say thank you to our lovely panel and teams. Uh, James, who's been running the camera all evening, Paul, who's been on tech all night, and thanks also to Molly and Kat Callahan for sending their videos in. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. A reminder, of course, that uh, this show and everything we do is brought to you by you and your kind support of our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun, or by subscribing here on Twitch. And we'll be thanking those folks momentarily. But for those of you watching on YouTube, thanks for being here. Again, just the most important thing is uh, that everyone's here and watching and having a good time. We really appreciate it. And now this. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Big Felt Quiz for 2022. They, uh, they wouldn't give us budget to do our own graphics. Yeah. Okay, let's meet the teams. Yeah! 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 yeah!